ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're ready. Because we're about to do something. It's my alarm. See? Ready to go to work. Okay, that's enough alarm. I'm at work now. You can stop. Stop. There we go. Professional. Professional is what I am. Now listen. Something's about to happen. It's about to be impressive to all of you. What's about to happen is gameplay. Now, when Chris Wilson of Grinding Gear Games phones you up in the middle of the night like he did to me, you have to respond to him in the correct way. And the correct way is, Chris, how did you get my number? I keep changing it. How do you keep finding it? And then he dodges that question and says, Josh, I need you to play Path of Exile. I need you to play the new league because no one can explain the mechanics as well as you can. No one can do it. It's difficult. It's, it's impossible in many ways. And I said, Chris, I know in many ways that I am probably the, the greatest Path of Exile player. So I'm going to explain to you not only how to play Path of Exile, but how to build the strongest possible character. Now, I've been reading the wiki for a bit, and by that I mean I had a quick glance over it earlier. I have come to realize that the skill gems that you equip onto your weapons give you skills. All right, that's about as far as I've got with that. That seems to pretty much be all I need to know. Now, I've taken a bit of damage. Press 1 to use a life flask. Now, if you're a pro gamer like me, you will have numbers on the side of your mouse. So press those to use flasks, and we keep pushing through. Now, if I right-click, I throw my weapon. There's lots of combinations of stuff in Path of Exile. We're going to learn all those combinations. Uh, but, but in all seriousness, when I got approached and they were like, Hey, Josh, can we sponsor you to, to, to play some Path of Exile? I'm like, you... Hang on, let me just get this right. You want to you wanna pay me to sit and play a game that I quite like? And they went, yes. And I went, oh, this, this world, this world, man. I used to have a hard job. I used to work in a warehouse. I used to, you know, do difficult things, work with manly men. Now, just say it. When I say manly man, I don't mean like the Robin Hood men in tights kind of manly men. Like actual big, strong, proper, you know, moving boxes, grrr, lager kind of guys. I was never a lager fan. But yeah, then they were like, hey, do you want to uh, you know, sit and play this game for a bit? Like, yeah, fantastic. I can do that. That sounds fun. Yeah, I can do that. I mean, now I am dream I'm drink I'm not sponsored by... I was going to say, I hope I don't get sued by the aloe vera company that I'm drinking. But it's green. It chroma keys itself out. Oh, we've, we've saved ourselves a lawsuit with that one. Fantastic. Yeah, you might want to think about using a potion. Ah, now you'd, you'd look at my health and you'd think that. All right, but this is what I'm here to help you with. The only hit point that actually matters is the last one. That's what you need to remember. All right? That's all that matters. Every other hit point apart from the last one, you know, temporary, irrelevant. I've got to stay hydrated. I see the PNG of a vest. Look, okay, right. It was It's warm still in the UK, so of course I'm wearing the PNG of the vest. In fact, something I might need to do in a minute is I, I wanted to use a Path of Exile mug, but I don't have one. What I do have, though, is a Jagex mug, and I have printed off the Path of Exile graphic for this league. So what I might be able to do is just cut this out and salitate this over the mug later, which would effectively make it like a pseudo Path of Exile mug, which I think is fine. I think that's okay. They can do that. Right. Let's, uh, let's continue. So I've got another gem. Support gems change the power behavior and mana costs. This one is Prismatic Burst. Um, supports attacks cause them to trigger Prismatic Burst. A thing happens. Blue goes there. I'm going for what I'm going to call the chaotic build. If I don't know what I'm doing, then the enemy definitely don't know what I'm doing. Beautiful. So all I'm going to do is just push forward, put in any gem that we find into any possible slot, see what happens. See, yeah, you don't even need to drink potions. I don't know why everyone's worrying about health. Look, I'm just, all I have to do is stay away from the enemy, right click and they die. Done. I will drink a potion, but that was my choice, not because you told me to. 
but in all seriousness i am going to play the uh i'm also going to click on everything so if you guys who want like a speedy run this is definitely not going to be for you like if you're you know what no i should have more faith in myself if i like how it's prismatically bursting just random random elements I guess that should make sense with what it does. Chooses an element at random and deals damage of that type in an area. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that's a big part of optimizing Dark Souls challenge runs. Yes. Yes, I, I understand. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to optimize anything in any noticeable way. At least not ways that anyone who's not a Path of Exile vet won't notice. I'll be doing lots of small subtle things. And see, like I leveled up just then. That was a tactical choice. I've gained a skill point. Okay, here's something genuinely serious, right? I realized why I was dying last time. I very, very much realized. Uh, select one of the glowing passive skills and allocate a skill point. Ah, so we've got these ones just here. The reason I died last time was because I died. And if I don't do that this time, I won't die. So I have a special plan, a build, if you will. I'm calling it DDDD. -D -D. And that stands for do damage, don't die. That's my plan. If I'm not doing damage, and if I am dying, then I am not following my do damage and don't die plan. Let me just uh, take care of this dude before I get back to rambling about stuff. God damn it, Hillock, why did you recover health? Hang on. Let's just deal with this dude first. But yeah, I realized that that's why I was dying last time. I was dying so much because I kept dying. If I stopped doing that and, you know, didn't do that, I think I'd get further. So I'm calling it the three, the sort of the four Ds. Do damage, don't die. There we go. We've got everything now. So let's just open up the, the skills window again and put some more stuff on. Do damage, don't die. This thing here, attack speed and dexterity, that could be about doing damage. Projectile damage, that's about doing damage. Physical damage increase, that's good. Life and strength, that helps with the don't die. Mana regeneration and intelligence, that's about doing damage mostly. Spell damage, I've just realized this tactic won't work because everything falls into the do damage and don't die. So, in any kind of quandary like this, when there's a you know, difficult decision to be made, we go with life. That's pretty much it. We just go with life. All right, I'm going to go with life. But I'm not using strength. I am a, I'm an intelligence-based build. I'm probably going to go with an intelligence-based build. So I don't want to go with the green stuff. What's the best... Come on, chat. You're smart. What's the best build for... What class am I again? Um, the angry... Not the witch one. The ascendant thing. Just someone will tell me what it was. The girl. The, the cool looking girl. Someone will tell me what class. Scion, that was the class. Thank you. Scion. What's the best Scion one? Is this lazy man mode? I am, again, pretty much putting out to you. Sniper Archer. You know what? Sniper Archer. Obese to beast. Is oh, obese to beast. One, why are you here? Two, thanks for being here, man. I love your stuff. Is that... No, hang on, I've just got to check that out. Oh, beast to beast, you are one of my favourite motivational fitness kind of YouTubers and Twitch streamers. There's no way you're in the chat right now. If you are, like, I am genuinely a massive fan. You make some incredible content. Give me a second. We'll get back to Path of Exile, guys, don't worry. Oh, goddamn, yeah, it actually is you. That's awesome. Mate, you make some fantastic content. Super motivational. Thank you for hanging out with us. Um, so, best build, yeah. Do damage and don't die. That's what we're going to go with. What else have we got? Um... Maybe I just want to go with, like, oh, God, I'm going to overthink this. You know, no overthinking it. Here's an idea. Choose a color, green, red, or blue. I'm going to put it in the thing right now. We're going to do a poll, and we're just going to go with whatever color you tell me to go with. All right, we're just polling this. So why do I need to sign up to join Twitch to do a poll in my own chat? Apparently, I'm not logged into Twitch on OBS. What? Okay, we're going to do a poll in a slightly different way. Just... Everyone get, like, type woo, and we'll go through it in order. If you want me to go for blue, type in the chat now. Okay, that's a few votes for blue. Yep, there we go, it's coming in. Right, 
if you want me to go for green, type in the chat. I'm aware this isn't working very well, but we're going to go with it. I've committed. If you want me to go for green, type in the chat now. Type green. I'm seeing more people saying going for green. That's dexterity mostly. And if you want me to go for red, let's type in the chat now. I understand this is the most inefficient way anyone's ever done a poll on Twitch. Okay, more people seem to have gone for red. So we may need to go for red on that one. Purple, blue, blue, red, green. Okay, it's blue. Right, we're going to go for red. Uh, life and strength. Does my attack even use strength? I suppose it does physical damage. That does physical damage. It does mana, spectral throw, pink chaos. Go. I think you should multi-class. This will end well. This will not end well at all. Fine, we're going to go for red. Life and strength. There we go. Uh, physical damage, physical damage, physical damage. Yeah, we're going to go physical damage. I'm going to snap some things. All right. We're going 100%. Apply the point. Yep, we've gone to there. Apply points. Cool, we're going red. Red all the way. That's all we're doing. We're not doing blurple. Whoever suggested blurple, it's not happening. Enter town for my reward for killing the big bad boy. I'm someone at Grinding Gear Games is going to be watching this and then going... Who thought it was a good idea to get Josh? I mean, I know he likes the game. You know, he's spoken about it before. He enjoys playing the game. But let's let's be real here. He's a bit shit. That's what we're good. That's the conversation. I'm pretty sure they're going to be having right now in the office. They're going to be sat there going, "Yeah, he's good. yeah." There's an audience. People are watching him. Totally get that. There is a level of understanding that you know people are going to come to the game because of this, but. He's also a bit crap, but that's okay. I'm okay with that because this league, remember, is all about tactical decisions. And I am one of the most tacticalist people you'll ever meet. Yes, I'm very tactical. You know, I when I wake up in the morning, everything I own is tactical. Everything is either camo or it is, you know, kind of black with pouches on it. So tactical. I'm actually wearing a camouflage vest right now, but you can't see it because it's camouflage. That's how it works. So let's go and talk to some people. Let's talk to you. Then let's go and do some grinding. I just clicked a lot. Ooh, rewards. Are we just going to go red? Is that going to be the plan for this one? Josh saying tactical while I'm cleaning airsoft guns. Oh, good. You're being the tactical operator that you know you can be. Are we just going to go with red for this entire run? Oh, hang on, no. Split arrow, bow. Hells yeah, let's go for a bow, shall we? Vine circlet, rusted spike, green, green, green. That's got no blue on it. Green. Someone else is saying green. Split arrow or splitting steel. Okay, I think split arrow is probably a good one just here. Let's go with that, because that looks pretty good. And then we can stick split arrow onto something, although I'm pretty sure we don't have a bow yet. When I get a bow, I'll do a thing. All right? We'll get a bow. We'll go green. Forget red. Red was a bad choice. Red was a mistake. We're moving on from that. We're going to, we're going to green from now on. This is the plan. What's going on with the event notice board? Nothing. Nothing's happening. That's fine. Talk to Bestel. Bestel. Have a chat with me, my friend. Let's talk about all the things you need to talk about. We will get to the actual event, don't you worry. Travel, travel, travel. When we find a bow, then we will start being better. Red Chads, we lost. Will you be doing a session zero at I-71 next month? Yes, we will. Uh, unfortunately, Callum Upton will not be joining us for that, but he has been replaced with uh, a friend of mine, an actor called Jasper, who is actually one of the Three Black Halflings, who does the Three Black Halflings podcast, who actually won an award for Best D&D Podcast. So it's going to be super fun to act with him on uh, on stage. I uh, met him at the Baldur's Gate 3 event, met him at one of the D&D the film premiere things. Uh, super chill guy, really cool, does lots of acting on stage, and as soon as... Uh, Cal basically... We, we didn't kick him out. Cal came to us and said, hey guys, I'm not going to be able to make this one. Real sorry. Hopefully you can make another one. But we said, yeah, no worries, we'll find somebody else. And I just went to Jasper and said, hey, do you want to uh, act on stage? And he was like, yes, Josh, yes, I do. 
Am I running that one? Uh, geez, are you running the... And then I say those words and it sounds like you've made me say balls. Okay, come on, you can do better than this. I've been on Twitch a while. I know that you're trying to get me to say bad phrases and then you'll be like, ho ho, he said a bad phrase. Come on, you can do better than that. I believe in you. No, we're going to sit here until, um, what was it? Fart? We're going to sit here until you're able to think of a better a better troll line than that. Well, we're going to we're going to wait on you now, mate. Okay? We're in no rush until Vart comes up with a better troll line. That's worse. That is so so much worse. Come on, I had such high expectations. You know, the people at Grinding Gear Games are sat watching this stream and they are upset that you are not trolling better. That was just worse. Chop chop, we could <laughs> Come yeah, come on. People are waiting. The audience is waiting for you to troll better so we can get back to playing Path of Exile. Why are you not doing more? They ran at me like the zombies from 28 Days Later. Good lord. Okay, uh, quick quick poll in chat. Scariest zombies in films? Which, uh, which film are we thinking of? Look, guys, we've got a couple of hours to kill, so the conversation is going to go off on a tangent at some point. I will be playing this in the background, and I will be, you know, clicking on stuff and reading things, but I'm not going to be able to just constantly comment on the game because as that's why i'm not going to comment on the game we'll resurrect at a checkpoint this is fine Does someone keep a count we're on one i'm gonna die a lot by the way okay i'm gonna die a lot in this game so if you are here for elite high level gameplay leave just it, it ain't worth it guys if this is your plan, if you're going to sit here and think, oh man, I, I can't wait to see what the best Path of Exile player in the world is like, they're probably streaming. I think Annie's streaming, isn't she? She knows what she's on about with this game. She's good at it. Um, oh, can I share one of the, the weirdest things with you? So I'm trying to move house, which apparently is the most complicated process in the, the history of processes. Whoever invented the process of moving house, I wish them nothing but the worst. And... We packed everything up into boxes, and the boxes have been sat in the living room for absolutely bloody ages. And now, the house we wanted to move into fell through, and we had to change a different thing. But we had to unpack all the boxes that we'd previously packed. And as silly as it sounds, I really enjoyed hoovering the living room. Like, I packed all the boxes months ago, and I unpacked them, put them back on the shelves, looked at the carpet, and I'm like, I'm gonna hoover. And... Oh, God, it was cathartic. It was beautiful. It was good. I emptied that hoover twice. Twice. Do you have any idea how dusty a floor has to be to justify emptying a hoover twice? God, it was satisfying. It really was. Now, I understand that some of you will be watching and going, Josh, what does this have to do with Path of Exile? Absolutely nothing. We've got a long time. Just bear with me. We're going to cover a lot of topics in this stream. Josh, the vest above the mic is ruining immersion. Look, I'm not very good with graphics, which you'll see when you watch the next video that I'm putting out on YouTube, because I used MS Paint to draw some graphics. I draw my graphics in paint. Just deal with it, okay? Just deal with it. That's how I make graphics. Click this button to level up the skill gem. Level up, level up, level up. And have we got any... I haven't even found a bow yet. You can hold shift to attack without moving. See, I didn't know this kind of stuff, but apparently you can. Uh, I still need a bow, and if I put split arrow there, I'm guessing I can't use it because I don't have a bow. When will the next worst MMO ever come out? So tomorrow is a video called, Do MMOs Need a Story? And it is a discussion and breakdown of the general story mechanics. Oh yeah, you can press tab for the map. Of uh, the story mechanics within the MMOs and how stories should be presented and how it works, that kind of stuff and the five different ways that you can present a story in an MMO, because there are multiple ways that you can present a story. I mean, I'll open the question up to you guys now. I mean, do you believe an MMO needs a story? Or is it more of a kind of mortal online, EVE online thing of just being a big sandbox? Can you get away with it just being a huge area that you play in? I mean, Path of Exile has a story, but does anyone read it? Does it matter that much? Are people going, oh, I can't wait to see the next the next story bit? Or are people going, hey, what's the next mechanic? What's the next bit? People normally want mechanics much more than they want story. 
Yeah, people skip most of the dialogue, which is fine. That's what it's about. This is a gameplay-focused experience, which is totally okay if that's, you know, what the audience want to get into. So does an MMO need a story? Because Final Fantasy XIV, one of the biggest MMOs in the world, has one hell of a story. Super long story. Uh, but then again, EVE Online, one of the biggest experiences in the world, no story at all. Or, should I correctly say, no game-created story. Player-created stories? Absolutely loads. Loads of player-created stories, but that's the difference between the big sandbox and the kind of more actual game experience thing. Oh, that dude is just zipping around, isn't he? Mr. zippity Doodars over here. Let's just slap him around a bit. Hang on. I'm just going to tank this dude. I'm actually a tank class. People don't realise this, but I am. I was never worried. I was never worried. Were you worried? I mean, I was a little bit worried, I'm not going to lie. I need to save money for this month so I can either sub to an OnlyFans or a gaming channel. Do you happen to have a chest hair tier for your Patreon? Oh, Luria. If you are... If you're... You know, struggling for money this month, I'm now caught between offering joke advice of, yes, of course, sub to all the OnlyFans that you want, or genuine advice of entertainment should always be an extra thing in your life, and make sure you, your family, your friends are all covered and safe and comfortable first before you bother spending any amount on entertainers like me. I mean that genuinely. I think Bo Burnham said it the best when he said all entertainers are in the service industry, which is vastly overpaid. That's the way it should be. That's what you get with this stream. You, half of it is just, you know, self-aware comedic jokes. The other half is very deep personal philosophical advice. And the beauty of this stream is you never know what's going to happen next. You never know if the next thing I'm going to say is going to be genuine, loving, fatherly advice for the best life you can, or if I'm going to tell you to do something really dumb. Who knows? Who knows? That's why you're here. It's it's the unknown that keeps people around. It's the mystery of what's going to pop up. This stream is like a box of chocolates. That's what it is. It's expensive. Can I put them both in one sentence? Friendly father advice and something incredibly dumb. Yeah, I've done it before. It was a big clip. And it was when you're a teacher. Don't clean the whiteboard using horizontal strokes. I've said that before. It's a famous clip on the Clips channel. Some of you may have seen it, some of you may have not. But there's a big difference between wisdom and intelligence. Intelligence is what people tend to refer to as book smarts, which is where they, they know things. But wisdom is applying what you know and working out how you take the information that you have been given and actually making use of it in a real-world situation. Or it's about adapting to a real-world situation in a way that no amount of learning would ever prepare you for beyond, you know, actually experiencing the situation. Here's an example. When you're a teacher, I mean, because I've been a teacher before, you have to clean either a whiteboard or a blackboard, and you get one of the cloth or you get one of those erasers and you, you clean the board. If you clean the board with horizontal strokes like that, your bum will shake and all the children will stare and laugh at you. So if you clean it with vertical strokes like that, that will not happen. That is the a weird bit of advice that you only ever need if you're in a very specific situation and if you've realized the physics of the butt wiggle which of course is something we should all study intensely, but that is a random bit of advice for you. There you go. You're welcome. There you go. How's it wiggling? Well, I mean, right now I'm sat down, but tomorrow I might do some squats. You don't know. You don't know what I'm doing in the gym. You don't know if I'm, uh, if I'm just people, the phrase the kids use is cake, isn't it? I believe, yeah, but cake. What a great stream. It's going well so far. I'm sure Grinding Gear Games are watching and going, Josh, can you just play the game? Could you... <laughs> Someone from Grinding Gear Games is thinking, Josh, could you just... Could you get to the league? Could you get to the bit that's new so people can see it instead of spending four or five hours in the tutorial talking about slang? And you know what? No. 
No, you, you knew what you were signing up for when you approached me. You knew exactly what kind of stream you were going to get. Don't sit there and pretend you didn't know. Yeah. Not till we find this bow. When we find this goddamn bow. Okay, so I need to scroll. Hang on. Scroll of right-click this, then left-click an item. Let's just identify some stuff. Yeah, so we're going to be chucking some stuff away. Goat hide buckler. Evasion. That's better than that is. Throw that away. Is that a bow? That's a club. I don't need any of these things. These are all useless. I want none of these things. These can all go on the floor. Portal scrolls are important. Iron greaves are probably better than that. Nope, they're exactly the same. They're worse. Why did I even pick them up? Let's just identify this sash. Stick you over there so I don't click the portal scroll by mistake. Increases global physical damage. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, super vine circlet. No, the iron hat's cool. The iron hat's staying. You know, I'm just throwing everything away until we finally get to... Uh, all I need is just a bow. Just give me a bow. One bow and I'll be happy. Is this the game without money? So I'm pretty sure there's no actual money like gold style currencies in Path of Exile. There are lots of different local currencies and currencies to spend on stuff, but no kind of gold that you buy things. There is gold in Path of Exile too. We saw that in the, the video where they were they're showing off everything, but there's definitely gold in that. Click on the waypoint. All right, cool. So we found a waypoint. Do we go... I think we now go this way. Yes. Oh, the mud flats. There we go. I know where I am now. Will you get every single weapon except the bow? I swear to God, man. Look, the reason I want a bow is so I can stay away from the enemies. That's the point. That's all I want. I want to stay away because right now the danger is that I'm running toward the enemies and that's where the enemies are. You don't want to be where the enemies are. You want to be where the enemies aren't, but still attacking them. That's why whoever invented the bow, I believe his name was Mr. Bow, basically decided he wanted to stab someone, but didn't want to be near them. And I, I understand that. I get him. He was like, I very much want to... I need to stab a man from over there. That was the purpose of the bow. Yeah. Bow... His name was Mr. Bowman. It was. Oh, hang on. Oh, these guys have got shields on them, so... I'm going to assume they're slightly tougher. Because they've got shields. But what they don't have, that I do, is an absolute crap load of potions. Okay, so none of these look good. I just want a bow. Just give me a bow. I can probably buy one from the shop at some point. And he needed Mr. Arrow to create his combination. Yeah, I mean, before arrows were invented, bows were relatively useless. They, they definitely hadn't reached their potential. That's true. Sometimes you need something else to exist. Sometimes it's not just about how good you are. It's about how something else can enhance you, and you can enhance something else. And by working together, you both become something greater than each other. This is known as being greater than the sum of your parts. So there'll be situations in life where you're thinking, I know that I'm good, but I just, I feel that I'm missing something. That's okay. Just got to find someone else who's good at something and work out that you can team up and work together. There you go. There you go. There was the, the beautiful bit of advice that you knew you were going to get, but you didn't know you were going to get it. You got to hang around sometimes for the advice. You gotta stay. Am I gonna be streaming during the RuneScape Summer Summit? I don't know. Probably not. Don't think I've got any specific things set up. I'll probably continue working on the next Was It Good or the next Worst MMO ever tomorrow. Uh, the next Was It Good's probably gonna be Splinter Cell, the old stealth game, the old Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. How much do I bench? Ah, it's a good question. Uh, I don't know. I don't actually do bench press, I do dumbbell press. So I normally do 27.5 kilograms in each arm, and I will bench for eight reps of eight sets, uh, which is known as the uh, Garonda system, which is focusing on inducing muscle hypertrophy, which is specifically about building functional hypertrophy, which is both strength uh, and increase in muscle size. I thought about doing the German volume training of 10 sets of 10 reps at 60% of the one rep max, but that is super intense to do that. 
But I tend not to look at just pure one rep max numbers. I'm more focusing on functional strength and hypertrophy at the minute. And the Garonda system of 8x8 is working really well for me. And that is because uh, I, I enjoy being able to push myself to an 8x8 limit without feeling too fatigued at the end of any one, specifically. You're already... I mean, <laughs> obese to beast is sat there going, yes, I understand exactly what he's on about right now. All these numbers make complete and total sense. And everyone else is there going... Just numbers, words, things, <laughs> some kind of fitness. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, I am. I'm really enjoying the gym. I I regret not getting back to it sooner. I really wish that I spent more time getting fit. It is so much easier to stay fit than it is to get fit. And anyone that's tried any level of gym will understand that it is so much. If if you've got a level of fitness when you are kind of slightly younger, keep it. Because it is infinitely easier to keep what you've got than it is to regain what you lost. So please, good lord, please. You know what? This little um, gem that I got that does some kind of prismatic level explosion, that is really pulling uh, a lot right now. I'm relying on that a hell of a lot. It is doing so much more than my actual attack. But I've still not found a bow. I wonder if I can find a bow that combines the split shot gem that I got with the prismatic explosion. I bet that can happen. Let me double check the, the wording on it. So the prismatic burst is support spell, cold lightning, prismatic trigger, support attacks. Yeah, that should work. That should combine with the split shot. I'm assuming it will. I mean, if you are... If you're a Path of Exile vet and you say, oh no, that definitely won't work, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that should work. That should be the way it goes. I'm going down a Nutella jar after a full week of gym and fasting. Dude, dude, come on, we can do this. I believe in you. You know, the amount of YouTubers getting really fit recently is really impressive. Follow a load of fitness YouTubers. Follow fitness. And when I say fitness YouTubers and fitness kind of Instagram people, I don't just mean people who do it for the aesthetic. I mean people who have the knowledge behind it. Um, one of my favorites is, you guys watch Joey Swole on, on Twitter, on TikTok, on Instagram? Because Joey Swole is great. Um, he's so bloody motivational for it. Who do you want? Jeff Nippard. Jeff Nippard is one that I should definitely say. You should spend some time watching him. Um, Dr. Mike from Renaissance Periodization. Definitely a good guy to be going in for. He is um, super interesting, super fun. I'm not really a big fan of the bro science like V-Shred from stuff. I, I tend to prefer the guys that approach it with the more scientific method. Um, the ones that have kind of everyone's best interest in mind kind of stuff. Yeah, Jeff Nippard, definitely one of the best for sure. One of the best without a doubt. I've not even found a bow yet. All I want is a bow. Just one, one bow, one little bow, a little tiny bow. It's all we need. Oh, we can level up these gems again. Sweet. Oh, I've also gained like four levels, but not leveled up. Give me a second. Thank you for liking my vest. It's very warm. That's why I'm specifically making sure. Superior glass shank and a runner nest. Let's take in whatever's in there. Oh, you've got to get these three glyphs, haven't you? This is one of the few times in the games where you need to actually get three glyphs. Should I do like a melee focused bow build? Is that what we're going to go for? Is it just going to be lots of arrows but really close up is that the plan can probably get a bow from the vendor in town yeah yeah i did realize that I, I was thinking that maybe i could just do that instead let's let's head back over here let's level up and then let's oh hang on we've got some skill points now green is mostly bow isn't it green is a kind of yeah shotgun bow that's what we're gonna go for we're gonna go for a shotgun bow style sounds stupid go for it Look, you say it sounds stupid, but think of the physics. When an arrow is loosed from a bow, it is very fast. And if it hits the enemy closer to the bow, it will be very faster than if the enemy was further away, because it would have had to use the speed it had to travel. So by the time it hits the enemy, energy is dissipated. Just stab with arrows. Go red. If it's Gary, I'm going to go with green. We're going with green. Green is dexterity. Ac accuracy and evasion. If you're evasive enough, the enemy can't hit you. Evasion build. 10% projectile damage, 5 dexterity. 4% attack speed, 5 dexterity. Let's go with damage and dexterity. 
So much better. Sweet. So we apply you. Movement speed. No. Who needs that? Projectile damage. Yes. Let's get that. Projectile damage. Let's do it. Right. We're doing projectile damage, guys. It would be super useful if I had uh, a projectile weapon, but we don't have one yet. So when I get a oh, phew, when I get a projectile weapon, it is over for these guys. I mean, does that count as a projectile? I am throwing my axe. Is that a projectile? Spectral throw. Fires a projectile. Okay, sweet. Hang on. Brilliant. I'm just going to throw my axe at people now. That's my plan. Shotgun axe build. They said it wouldn't work. Hang on, if that's a... If that is a projectile build, could I... Oh no, the, the, the theory crafting has started already. I need a green, a blue, and a green. Because if I could do spectral throw, which is a projectile, and this one, which fires... Ah, oh, that fires multiple arrows, requires an arrow, I'm guessing. Okay, cool. Green is the skill, blue is the prismatic burst. If I can get one that increases projectiles and adds prismatic burst, I'm theory crafting already. Here we go. Yeah, Path of Exile is very overwhelming. Without a doubt, it's extremely overwhelming. In like a fun way. I, I did question, and this is one of my favorite answers. I did question Chris on why he does this. I'm like, Chris, why are you building a game that's incredibly overwhelming to people? And he said, well, the kind of player that we are going for value that. You know, that's what that player wants. He wants players who want to be overwhelmed. And I can respect that. I understand that he's not going for the people that want simple answers. What I respect about Path of Exile is even though I disagree with a lot of their design decisions, they make them because the exact type of player they want, that's what they're going for. They're not compromising. I'll give them that. Now, oh, Split Arrow is not a support. I'm guessing Split Arrow is an actual spell that requires a bow. So we get a bow, we do Split Arrow, but then could we put the blue Prismatic Burst trigger onto Split Arrow? We should be able to. Yeah, I should be able to put Prismatic Burst onto Split Arrow. That should be a thing that I'm able to do fine, actually. I'm going to go back. I swear to God, if we don't get a bow soon, I'm going to go back and sort it out. I want easy access to numbers. Oh god, how complicated would it be to just have a, a system that works out the the best for Path of Exile? Because there's... I suppose it's very situational, isn't it? And what I like is a lot of builds work. Because I built a, a minion build last time. And I suppose that's what I'm doing definitely this time. Instead of going for minion, I'm going for projectiles. If it increases... You know, that's what we'll do. If it increases my number of projectiles, or the projectiles get better, that's all we're doing. That's all we're caring about. That's all we're going for. Projectile build. More projectiles, more damage. If it's not a projectile, it ain't ain't going in the build. That's how it how it works. I'm happy with this. Right. Let's just keep it going. Oh, you need to use the glyphs on the wall, don't you? You need to use how many glyphs do I have? I've got um one, two... I need another one? Yeah, okay, cool. I am one glyph shy. Unless you need to drag it from the menu to it, maybe? No. I'm guessing when you have all of them, it opens up automatically. I'm your favourite vest streamer. Thank you. That's all I've ever wanted to be. That's what I... When I was young, I said to my mum, Mum, when I grow up, and she said, Josh, I'm going to stop you right there. That's not going to happen. I said, okay, well, when I get older, I want to play video games and get paid for it. And she laughed. And she laughed. She did. She said, Josh, it's never going to happen. Never going to happen. Go to school. Get grades. Get real job. And I, I did. Went to school. Got grades. Got real job. And then I thought, you know what? This real job sucks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on doing what I wanted to do anyway, which worked really well. So what happened when you became a teacher? So I was an actor for a while, and as every actor in the world has to do, unfortunately, at some point, uh, I ended up teaching drama. It's almost a rite of passage that you have to go through. Speak to any of your actor friends and be like, so have you taught drama yet? And if they say no, it will happen. 
eventually. It will. Unless they're a very lucky jobbing actor who's able to just, you know, travel around, you will end up teaching. But it was fun. I enjoyed teaching. I was doing enough theatre work. That chest was empty. That's stupid. I was doing enough theatre work to make a decent living. I was having a good time. The problem was COVID then happened and all the theatres shut down, all the film sets shut down. I had to teach to try and, you know, support the income. Boom, there we go. Serrated quiver, we'll take that. You had to teach that and then just moved on from there. Josh is Dorian Gray. Oh, thank you very much. I enjoyed playing Dorian Gray. That was a good little thing. Uh, played Cool Hand Luke and played Dorian Gray. That was a nice thing. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to press that one. That one. One to four physical damage to attacks. Okay. Um, requires level four, 61. Six percent damage increase with bow skills. Why can I not equip that? Is it... Am I not level 4 yet? Hang on. I thought I was level 4. Let's go for more green. 8% more projectile damage. Apply points. I am level... Where does it show me? There should be a number somewhere. You Oh, you need a bow equipped to equip a quiver. This is kind of a bow. I'm throwing it. But let's grab this superior rusted sword just so I can sell it. And then let's head through here so I can sell stuff and buy things at the thing. Can you teach us how to shut up? No, I can't. No, it's one thing I was never very good at. Sorry. The quiver is just quiver. I'm sorry, is it your food time again? Do you require more food? Hang on, guys, there's a cat. Yes, I'm... Yeah, hang on. Yes, there's a food here. Hang on. Yes, I'm getting you food. There you go. Enjoy... Enjoy the tasty... Tasty mystery meat. Beautiful. Now she's happy. There we go. Lovely stuff. Yes, the vest is very, very starched because it's warm in this room and I definitely couldn't put it on. Some people have just realized that it wasn't a real vest. Howdy! Happy to finally catch a stream. I am happy to finally have you here. Welcome. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Let's talk about some shops. Uh, sell items. I do not need you. Ah, you give me scroll fragments which become scrolls of wisdom. Let's work out what I don't need. Oh, hang on. Hang on a tick. That rusted sword could, in theory, give me... Oh, no, I need a bow. So let's just sell everything and buy a bow, shall we? Everything is going away, and a bow is happening. And when a bow has happened, then... So we'll purchase items. Right, where are the weapons? Wand, wand, wand. Horn, horn, wand. Wand, wand, wand. Why are there only wands? Is this... Is it because I chose the Scion class? Other vendor has bows. <sighs> Bestel, do you have bows? Nope. Tark, you got bow? You're holding a bow, mate. Come on, you're literally holding a bow. Purchase items. Boom, there we go. Sweet. Okay, so prismatic burst. I want blue and I want green. I need a blue and a green connected. There are no blue and greens connected. This is awful. Everything is terrible. <sighs> There's a green and a green. I suppose that would be split arrow and spectral throw. Will that work? No, it wouldn't because that wouldn't uh, support something else. It's not a support gem. It's an attack gem. I need a bow that has a blue and a green connected. Ah. <sighs> Search for another item with G, B, G. Green, blue, green. Let's just look through here. So if we have green, blue, green, I'll be happy. But I don't think we have any that have green and blue and green. We've got green, green. I suppose that would be... I suppose I could put... It's got to be split arrow. It's got to be green and blue at least. What about scare mask? Grab the square mask, put on the split arrow with the prismatic thing. Would that work? That should work. Let's try that. Let's grab you. Then let's also grab a bow. Uh, probably a bow that I can use. That requires more dexterity. Crude bow. It's fine. 
It's better than anything else I've got currently. So I do not have enough orbs of alchemy. Maybe I can sell you some stuff, mate. Let me sell you some items. I don't need this anymore. That can go away. Don't need the goat hide buckler. I'm going to keep the arrows stuff. I think. I'll just sell you that. That's fine. Let's go grind for a bit. I've got an idea. That goes there. I can't afford a bow yet. That will go there eventually. We grind for things, then we get the bow and sort this out. This is going to plan, don't worry. This is fine. Glad to finally catch a stream. Got to be doing some stuff now. I'm glad you caught the stream. I hope you can enjoy doing the stuff. Let's just grind for a bit. I swear to God, if I find a bow now, I'm going to be very angry. Beautiful. Beautiful moments. Yep, you're still equipped. That's fine. That's a maul. That's like the opposite of a bow. That's as close range as you can possibly get. Only reason I'm grabbing items is to sell them. Is it the Orb of Alchemy that they use as kind of currency? Let's just slap these guys around for a bit. Countless bow drops incoming, I swear to God. I mean, I'll be happy if I do get one, don't get me wrong. I'll be like, hey, yeah, that's useful. I'll try and stay away from this dude because he's explodey. That's good uh, advice for life, to be fair. If someone starts exploding, stay away from them. Chainmail vest, I'll take that. Rustic sash, I only wear things that are rustic. Scroll of wisdom for the sash. Lightning resistance. And chainmail vest. Okay. Uh, regenerate life, mana, cold resistance, reflects melee damage. Sweet. We'll take that. That works. A little bit of reflection. We do a little bit of reflection, don't we? Is it too hot for the real vest? Yes, it is. So we have a long time to kill, and I'm going to enjoy playing this game. So let me know. It's so weird that I get to sit... You know one of the strange things about becoming a content creator? And I don't want you to think this is just me sitting here having a oh, woe is me, my life is awful thing. Because I'm very lucky to do what I do. But one of the weirdest things about turning your hobby into your job is when you sit down to enjoy your hobby, you feel guilty if you're not doing it as part of your job. So when I bought Elden Ring, I sat down and I'm like, oh my god, yeah, I can finally play Elden Ring. And I was loving it for the first half an hour. And then my brain just kept going, you should be making content. You should be recording this. Why are you having fun and not making content out of this? It was super annoying. So when Path of Exile came to me and said, hey, uh, sponsor stream, I'm like, finally, I can make my brain shut up with that little you should be making content voice and play a game that I like, which to me was quite rare. I very much enjoyed it. Just poor Josh. How many subs before we can get you a mini... Okay, so in the new house that I'm hoping to buy, I very much want to get air conditioning in the streaming room, at least. When is it hot enough to lose another button? You, God, oh my goodness, you really are. You really are all awful, aren't you? Hang on, let me just take down Cardiverus the Defiler. Jeez, this dude is throwing endless dogs at me. Hang on. I am chugging potions like I'm back in uni. Boom. Okay. A arrow quiver. <sighs> level 4, level 4, 61 rating. That can't work. H hang on. It's time to be efficient. Let's just get some stuff down here. Cone helmet. Um, No, that's all red. Another chest plate. Woolen shoes might be good. They are red, red, blue. No, they're terrible. Let's get rid of that. Right, no more stuff. What's the story on the trans pride chair? I love it. Um, I'm going to be honest. I didn't do that on purpose. I was just one of the chairs that I came to first in the shop and went, yeah, I'll have that. I didn't, I didn't pick it for that specific reason. I didn't not pick it for that specific reason. It was just the first chair in the shop. And then everyone's like, oh, Josh, that, the, the, the colors on that. I'm like, oh, uh, honestly, wasn't intentional. It just happened to work out that way. And now everyone was just, uh, just point that out. So I don't mind it. I'm fine with it. Inventory Tetris. That's what we're playing now. That is what we are playing now. Feels like the game is conspiring. We've not seen one bow. Like, I swear to God. 
You think you'd have seen a bow just by chance by now? By now, you should have at least had a bow drop purely out of the amount of drops that we've had. Just one bow. Maybe it knows that I'd be too powerful if I had a bow drop. Because at the minute, all I'm doing is pushing these guys back. Drinking potions and throwing axes at them, which have prismatic damage on them. That's pretty much all I'm doing. The devs are messing with me now. This is Chris Wilson's fault from Grinding Gear Games. God damn it, Chris. You know what? It's going to be the next... Chris is the next Todd Howard, but in a good way. Like, because we, we say damn it, Todd, whenever things go wrong that are glitches. I'm going to say damn it, Chris, whenever just something happens that I don't like. That's what I'm going to say. Crude bow! Yo, I love you, Chris. You're my favorite. I swear to God, if this has the wrong color of anything attached to it, I'm going to be very upset. Red, green, green. There's no blue. Okay, that's fine. We've got a green and blue up there. That's that's still doable. We can still make this work. Let's throw you away. We don't need you anymore. Crude bow. All right, cool. So we've got arrows. This is good. We've got arrows. This is fine. It just works. It does work this time. Do you need more food? Do you wish to go downstairs this time? Okay, there you go. You can go downstairs now. It's fine. We all know who's really in charge here. We all know that the cat's in charge. Okay, so we've got a bow. That's good. Um, one to four physical damage, accuracy rating, damage increase of bows. Fantastic. Now we need some skills. So the skills are going to be blue and green. So prismatic burst. And let's go with... <laughs> should we go with spectral throw? Throws a copy of your melee weapon. Can you spectrally throw a bow? I bet you can't. Oh, that's a shame. That would be quite funny if that worked. But we can do this. Okay, so that, I believe, is on Q. Can we stick that there? Okay, that's good. That is decent. So we've now got on Q, we have got shotgun. And it doesn't take that much mana. So we've got shotgun bow. I don't know how powerful it's going to be. Okay, so from close range, it's fine. But we need something that makes it explode for more. That's what we need. Funny how you're not doing a pool beach hot tub stream. Look, if I had a hot tub, trust me, I'd be doing a hot tub stream. But I don't own a hot tub. Yet. Okay, so... This is working. I mean, I'm on board with shotgun bow if... You guys are on board with that. That is my new plan. Everything is about firing as many arrows as possible forward. That's it. That's what I want. Shotgun bow. No spoilers, uh, but I take attack off your left click and make it move only. Oh yeah, you can do that, can't you? Um, to be honest, I'll probably leave it on left click for the time being. Just... I wanted more damage with the shotgun stuff because I don't think it's doing enough. I don't want to get super close to enemies because that kind of defeats the point of having a bow. There we go, that'll work. But as we increase, I've got another point to spend, so we'll just do more, more projectile damage. Finished your Golden Sun video. Oh, thank you very much. That took me so bloody long to make. I'm really glad you enjoyed that. So, ooh, okay, Sentinel. 24% increased evasion rating and armor. I'm going to go with a dodgy bow. That's the plan. Uh, no, you have unlimited arrows. Let's go with Sentinel. And then we go down here to, like, Dexterity. And then Dexterity. That seems useless. Dexterity, Dexterity. Oh, there's the bow thing. Bow mastery. Beautiful stuff. Okay, cool, yeah, that's... We want to go for bow mastery. Damage bows, 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 bows. Fire bow. Can you get like a lightning bow? I bet we can imbue our bow with lightning that ends up zapping things with lightning. I'm going to do that. We're going to... Unfortunately, yes, we have gone with the Skyrim build of no matter what you start off with, you do end up as a stealth archer. That's what's happened here. Every time you play Skyrim, you say to yourself, oh, I'm going to... 
I'm going to do a dual-handed barbarian. I'm going to do a, a special summoning-only mage. I'm going to play a th sneaky thief who picks people's pockets, and within ten minutes of playing, you're like, nope, I'm going to play a Nightblade Stealth Archer. That's what I'm going to play. Is there a mod to add Rufus to the game? I think Rufus is in all of us, really. Rufus lives in our hearts. Uh, disclaimer says this is adult content, so what's adult about it? Ah, sweet AC. So you hear adult content and you think that it's going to be like, you know, rude and a little bit, a little bit excessive, a little bit naughty. No, no, halfway through this stream, we're going to talk about taxes. Okay, I'm going to sit you down and talk about mortgage rates. That's what's going to happen. It's not adult in the fun way. It's adult in the very boring, dull, legal way. Maths. That's what it's going to be. It's about healthcare premiums. It's about whether you've uh, filled in those TPS reports. That's what it's going to be. Could always do with some more economic insights. Would legitimately love an adult stream where they just teach you how to adult. This is one thing that irritates me. I, I hear so many people say, oh, I wish we had school classes where they taught you about the world. Be real. If you'd have had them, would you have listened? Because most people in school don't listen in the classes that are relatively easy. So, no, it would have been a group of kids sat around, just pissing around, not really listening. And then at the end of the day, they'd have been like, oh, I should have listened. Yeah, it's pretty much just a free DOS around period, isn't it? I do think they should definitely teach it about you, but have I installed Baldur's Gate yet? I have not yet installed Baldur's Gate 3 for the simple reason that I'm terrified of it. I still want to be able, I need to be able to make content. It's my job. I installed Baldur's Gate 3, you're not getting a video for the next month. That's going to happen. So if you want to take that risk, that's on you. But no, I very much need to make sure. Does this bow do lightning damage inherently? I swear this bow is doing inherent lightning damage. Oh, supported skills will trigger a prismatic burst. That's the one. Yeah. It's doing prismatic burst. So yes, I very much do want to play the Baldur's Gate 3, but I am aware of the danger that playing Baldur's Gate 3 would bring up. Uh, so, okay, so M is the shop, I don't want that. What's the map again? What's, is there a world map? It's got to be a world map. What's the world map button? Somebody, was it N? Nope, that's another microtransaction thingy. Tab is the local map. Which one's the world map so I can see where I am? Someone said U. Give me a sec. Ah, yes, thank you. Um, so I've got these things I need to do. Oh, I've got to find the eggs, haven't I? Yeah, the eggs are on this map somewhere, and I found, like, one of them. Find the glyphs. There's got to be a glyph somewhere else in this map. Let me shoot these guys down. <laughs> the real map was inside you all along. Maybe give that map a bit of a wipe down before you read it. Okay, so I, I'm liking the fact that when, yeah, okay, when the thing triggers, we do a lot of damage. That's good. Can't wait to judge him for who he does and doesn't romance. Baldur's Gate, as we all know, is a game about trying to sleep with everyone and then possibly save the world. And if you, if you can't do that, then what, does the world even need saving at that point? You know, at that point, what's all this been about? What are we even saving if that's not what we can have? Okay, so it turns out that evasion is quite useful, and I can just stand in a lot of damage and not die. I'm happy with that. I play games with romance options, see if I can avoid a romance. That is like the challenge run. That is the tactical run. You're... <laughs> I saw someone, and it's... I think the thing in Baldur's Gate 3 is, if an NPC approaches you with romantic intentions, you can turn them down, and they will understand that and remain turned down. Not many of them continue to pursue you afterwards. But isn't it a bit telling that a lot of people, like in real life, would do? And it's super draining to have to deal with it in a game. And there's a lot of people who have to deal with it in real life constantly. And... Uh, I've had a lot of friends say to me, oh man, I turned this person down. Why are they still constantly trying to hit on me? 
I'm like, yeah. That's yeah, annoying, isn't it? You should probably, probably take that lesson into your own life. Not you specifically on Twitch. I'm sure everyone there is respectful and kind. But a lot of people I know who are not as respectful and kind, who I no longer associate with, come along and say, oh, so bloody annoying. They keep doing this. Yeah. It's irritating, that is, isn't it? Real life lessons. Thank you, Baldur's Gate 3. Yes, completely agree. What did I just pick up? I picked up something. Uh, it was a green thing. Sniper's Mark curses a single enemy, increasing the damage they take from projectiles and making projectiles split when they hit them to hit other targets. I see. So, we can mark an enemy, hit them with a projectile, and then... Okay. That's all right. I'll take that. Let's see if it works with just one. It, it does. It bounces off them a lot. This inventory is giving you anxiety. Well, this stream is going to be very anxious for you, unfortunately. It's going to get worse. Brilliant. So what we need to do is mark whatever boss enemy we come up against. Did you say the inventory is giving you anxiety? Would it annoy you if I put this ammonite glyph over here? Because I'm going to be real with you, it wouldn't bother me at all. A lot of these guys are dying quicker than I can actually uh, mark them. Which I'm very happy with. Let's level up some gems. People are like, yes, that would heavily annoy me. Well... <laughs> Well, unfortunately... Aha! The Rosius Glyph. Fantastic. Take the glyphs to the glyph wall. Eleven. <laughs> Put a vest over your inventory. So you give the inventory a little vest as well. Sometimes I avoid games specifically because I know when I play them I'm going to get nothing else done for the day. Like, I very specifically don't sit down to play Command & Conquer, despite the fact that I... Sniper's Mark again. Despite the fact that I love Command & Conquer, because I know as soon as I sit down for Command & Conquer... Oh, hang on. We can mark you, and then just keep hitting you, which bounces arrows off to everyone else. Oh. oh, okay, now I've got too much stuff. Why does the Rosius Glyph look like a... I ordered it from Bad Dragon. Okay, let's stick that over here. We'll take the large mana flask. Stick you on number three. Throw you away. Go over there. Will that get me banned on Twitch? I don't know. I mean, I show speed said that I think everyone gets one free penis flash. That's what YouTube have set up as far as a... Uh, that's the standard that we've now been exposed to. Not in that way, but... Yeah, I suppose in that way. But that's the, that's the rules that have now been set up that everyone must follow. Everyone gets one. It's that kind of Spider-Man save thing, isn't it? My Was It Good Chrono Trigger video uh, is the best thing I've seen in a long time. Oh, thank you very much. If you don't watch any more of my videos, it will remain the best thing you've seen. If you watch more, you may realize it was the best thing I made and you'll be disappointed at the other videos, but you can try. You're saying, where did that come from? Are you guys, are you not clued up with it? Now, where's the, where's the thing? Here we go. It's amazing how fast YouTube responded. It is. It's very impressive. Let's just keep sniping things and people. Yeah, I'm I'm happy I went with shotgun bow. This is definitely Okay, so that is a green, a red, and a blue. But I'm pretty sure what I've got at the minute is it's just green. If I could have green connected to blue connected to green, that'd be great. We'll work it out in the future though, it's fine. The crude bow. Sell it for a chromatic bow. Oh, could I get one of those chromatic bows now? Do I have enough? I should have enough, shouldn't I? I've got to find the other place. Chromatic jewel, not bow. Ah, what does a chromatic jewel do? It's an orb. I mean, let's be fair. With the low level that I currently am, I am probably going to level up faster than the shop is going to be able to supply me with stuff. 
Me and my orbs. I do like pondering my orb, it's very true. This cave always reminds me of, did anyone play Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance on either, I think it was the PS2 or the GameCube? Any of you play Dark Alliance? Man, I, I love that game. This reminds me of the ice caves in Dark Alliance 1 and 2. Obviously this is nicer. The lighting here is lovely. Yeah, this is nice. This is good. I can I can live with this. Let me just keep leveling up and let's go down to the bows. We're gonna go toward the bow thing. That's the plan. How hot is it in the UK? Extremely. Extremely. Okay, these things are going down pretty quick now that we've got a shotgun bow build going on. I'm sure this is not the greatest build in the game, but I'm very happy to use it. So we can mark you and then just keep sniping things. This is good. I only played Champions of Norath. Same engine, actually. Snowblind engine. Which, interesting story, is really hard to emulate. So, whenever you're emulating PS2 games, attempting to emulate the Snowblind engine, you've got to do so much stuff to the emulator before it slows down so much. It's very, very sluggish. It's very hard to make work. So, evasion seems pretty useful. Evasion seems very useful. Yeah, it's it's about, I mean, to be fair, my PC is running at 42 degrees right now, and there is no ventilation in this room at all, so I'm effectively just sat gently basting. Uh, I'm like, effectively being here is, it's like being in a very inefficient, very slow, slow cooker. That's what I feel like. If any of you got a ninja, one of those um, ninja air fryers, I feel like I'm in a really weak setting of a ninja air fryer. That's what it feels like right now. But I sit here and I enjoy it. I enjoy, I endure. Neither enjoy nor hate. I endure it for you. To bring you content. That's what I am. Just a content machine. Laughs at 90 degree plus. I can't run my PC at 90 degree plus, man. I get nervous. If I'm running my PC at 90 or more, I get worried I'm going to break it. I know it's... Part of me knows it's probably fine, but I do get genuinely worried. Why am I using an emulator? Isn't the game on Steam? Oh, the original um, Dark Alliance. Yes, it is. I don't think it's the best version on Steam, but it is there. Isn't Air Freya useful? Okay, Dr. Teaspoon, you're about to be uh, indicted into the Air Freya cult. A lot of people say to me that when, when people talk about Air Fryers, it does sound a bit cultish. It does sound like, oh my god, you know, you've got to get an air fryer, you've got to get an air fryer. I've got an air fryer. I've got one of those ninjas with two drawers in the front, where you can have different temperatures on each side. Who in the chat has an air fryer? Air fryer gang, where you at? Who thinks it's goddamn amazing? Because it's cheaper than an oven... It's quicker than an oven. It's easier to clean than an oven. It makes food tastier and crispier than an oven. Swear to God, man, air fryers are the way forward. If you've just arrived at this stream and you're expecting some high-level Path of Exile gameplay, no, we're talking about air fryers. God, they were good. I was given one as a Christmas present from work and I gave it away. Mirabelle, I don't want to ban anyone this stream, but you're making it very difficult not to. I literally just arrived and thought this was Baldur's Gate 3. No, no, this is Air Fryers. <laughs> Again, someone from Grinding Gear Games. Josh, can you please just get to the League gameplay? We want... Josh, we... We sponsored your stream because we thought you'd bring people into the game. Why are you just talking about air fryers on the second level, playing a very inefficient shotgun bow build, which seems to be focused on close range melee damage while using a bow? All right, listen, Grinding Gear Games, you knew what you were getting into. You knew what you were getting into when you sought me out. In all seriousness, uh, Path of Exile 
this is not something they're they're not actually paying for me to say anything specific they genuinely wanted my own feedback on it i do believe that the skill tree is overwhelming without a doubt i think the skill tree is incredibly overwhelming and i think new players do have a hell of a hard time getting into it but i also think it's one of the few games online that is free and worth downloading whoa goodness me that was a lot of damage like, no one's come to me yet and said, I downloaded Path of Exile, I feel that the entire thing was a waste of time. People have said that to me about other games. As of yet, no one said that about Path of Exile, which I think is pretty good. When I look at the skill tree, I couldn't find where to start. Well, when I level up again, I will work it out. What's the hotkey for the skill tree again? There's got to be a skill tree hotkey. Normally it's K. Nope, that's inventory for something else, apparently. Uh, P? Yeah, there we go, cool. So, one thing that I really do like about the skill tree, I get that it's overwhelming as heck and you cannot ever open every node. The greatest thing they ever added to the skill tree is the search function. Because I am literally just going for a projectile build. I'm going to say, right, projectile. So, search here. Search for PRO, just for projectile. And now, everything that is in any way related to a projectile will start glowing. And you can see, there's basically nothing glowing around here. There's very little glowing around here. You got a bit up here, but it's mostly down here. So all I'm going to do now is just work my way down here. And then when the next thing comes out, I might be thinking, you know what? I don't want a projectile build. I want a minion build. So I'm going to search for M-I-N as in minion. And then, oh, okay, cool. Yep, look, most of my minion builds are kind of up and around here. So this is the area that I want to be focusing on in general, focusing over here. Maybe I want a melee build. So we search for melee and you get in pretty much, you know, very little over this side for melee, but... Oh, look, you've got a hell of a lot of stuff glowing for melee down here. Brilliant. So we just then push down there to work that kind of place. I like that a lot. I think that very much simplifies where you need to be generally going to within that thing. Can you make an air fryer build? What would an air fryer build be? It would, I suppose it would be a bow build because we are very quickly throwing very angry air. An arrow is just angry air. That's what it is. We're throwing angry air, arrows with lightning, because lightning is the angriest that air can possibly be. So if we make arrows with lightning and just throw that at the enemy, I would say we're as close as we can get to a kind of a full-on air fryer build. That'll work. Angry wood. I suppose arrows are closer to angry wood, aren't they? But we've already committed to an arrow build. Shotgun bow. 100% shotgun bow. That's what I want to push forward. Push forward toward. Wizard tossing superheated air. Yeah, that would be it, wouldn't it? No, nope, we're going for shotgun bow. And then I occasionally curse people. And then just keep blitzing them with this. Anything that increases my range damage is what we're going for. And health. Range damage and health. If anyone from Ninja is listening, I would accept an air fryer sponsorship immediately. I wouldn't even question it. Straight away. There are a couple of companies that I've said if they approach me, I will accept a sponsorship. Ironically, Grinding Gear Games was one of them. But the other one was uh, Air Fryers. Yeah, I'll take them. What are the other companies that you think... Oh, Smartwater. Jeez, if Smartwater do it. In fact, you know what? Huel as well. Uh, I've got a Huel thing here. There's no Huel in it. I've made up some lemon cordial because Huel refused to sponsor me for some reason. Cowards. Get on it. I don't normally eat or drink on stream, but it's bloody warm, and I want to be here a long time. So, yes, that will be happening. Oh, hang on, there's a little, little cheeky little, little drifting eye popped over to us there. A rusted coif. All right, well, I've got everything we need, so back to Lion's Watch and sell some stuff. Josh, do I like Morrowind? A silly question to ask. I'm a millennial. Of course I like Morrowind. Every millennial likes Morrowind. 
Now, this is a question I've got to ask all of you, and it's going to hurt me to ask it. Oh, hang on. First of all, we get a, we get a reward, which I can't hold because I've got full, I suppose, medium mana flask can be replaced with that one and throw that away. You can't drop it here. Yeah, destroy it. Um, green. Bear. Bear trap. Throws a trap that it's a spell, it's physical, it's not a projectile. Throws a trap that immobilizes a single enemy. Ah, oh, we did say trap build. That's true. What about the blue one? Frost bomb. Stun AoE. Decoy totem. Vigilant strike. What's the best out of these ones right here? Shotgun trap. Hang on. Shotgun trap build. Because then we throw that and we do a split. No, you can't. Frost bomb might work. Sniper's Mark is that one. I'm not going to use any of these, to be fair. So I'm going to grab that, and I'll use that. Oh, another one. Okay. Frost Blink. Dash and Steel Skin. So Frost Blink is teleport to a location, leaving chilled ground area. I'm not going to bother blinking past things. Dash, series of quick teleports. Attack in place, direction... Oh, direction is reversed. Clever. Shares a cooldown with other Blink spells. Which one do we go for? I mean, I suppose Frost Blink is an angry, angry dash. So we can go for you. Book of Regrets grants two passive respect points. Can I gain them Im immediately? No, oh, no. Okay, cool. I'll choose later. For the time being, we will sell some stuff. We sell some stuff to get some inventory space, then we'll grab the book and stuff. But no, I very much like Morrowind, but... I have to like Morrowind because I am a millennial and that's the rules. Are millennials old now? It's not a question I like asking, but it's a question that needs to be asked. Are we old now? There'll be millennials in the chat that say no. But I think we might need to be facing the very real possibility that we are old now. Well, I don't like it any more than you do. Unfortunately. Right, requires 38 decks, level 9, level 9, level 9, 38 decks, green, blue. Oh, it's a blue, green one just there. Longbow. Is that better than crude bow? 5 to 13. Yeah, way better, actually. Attacks per second, 1.3, 1. 1. Ah, crude bow does give more attacks per second. Although, ultimately, you're not really looking at the bows. You're looking at the, the stuff... You're looking at the slots of things. It will be okay. I think I'm, I'm good for the time being. That's just Necromancer Reward. Book of Regrets. And then I think we right-click and gain two skill points. Go. Cool. And after gaining two skill points, we should be able to add them. Two points left. We're going down here, aren't we, toward the bow kind of place. So, let's see what we need. Two, two, ah, two refund points left. I see. So you can take those away if we need to. Don't want to be taking refund points away yet. Ah, so regrets the refund. Okay, I see. So that's what you do. You go for the refund points. I'm not bothered about refunding points yet. I think I'm doing okay for that. Let's return to where we were. 99 Slayer, my goodness, thank you very much for the gift. That is incredibly kind of you. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. You have gifted a lot of subs. That is incredibly kind. But, um... Millennials are old. I'm sorry, but we are now. We have to face that fact. We have got there. Just last week, I got called uncle by my friend's kid. It's when small kids start calling you sir. That's when you know you're old. Or that man over there. Oh. What's that Dara O'Brien sketch where he's like when people you don't know refer to you as that man? Yeah, that's that's when you know you've hit the wall. I do want to do a review, a was it good of Morrowind. Uh, the only reason I haven't done it is because I would like to be able to do other things within like six months. And some of you are a bit weird. And some of you are really into like eight hour retrospectives of Oblivion. Now I can give you an eight hour retrospective of Oblivion if you want. I can do that for you. I'm about to die. But we're okay. Hang on. I'm just absolutely blitz through stuff there. Cool. I would very much like to do a full retrospective on 
Daggerfall, the game that came out before Morrowind. Now, you can get Daggerfall for free on good old games. Or, and this is very important, you can get a special version of Daggerfall completely remade in the Unity engine, which is way better and faithful to the original. Because the Unity remake allows you to use mouse aiming in it, and it maps it to the WASD keys way better. Uh, it's just better in every way. Honestly, if you ever wanted to play Daggerfall, play the Unity remake. Do not try and play the original. The original is awful. I'm sorry, but it is. Uh, it's, it's a good game, but it's awfully... The controls are awful. It's an old controller game. So yeah, play the... Play the remake one. Where am I going? Is it? Yes, it is. It's all available on Good Old Games. Is it Galaxy of Games or Good Old Games? Because I've always said Good Old Games, but I think they changed their name to Galaxy of Games, and they're trying really hard to like rebrand to that. But I'm I'm not rocking with that. I'm sticking with Good Old Games. That's what we're going for. They've they've said Galaxy of Games, but I'm going with GOG. Galaxy is their Steam like client, and it's called Good Old Games. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Gotcha. So. Galaxy Games is the launcher. Good old games is the actual site. There we go. I'm on board. We should be leveling pretty quickly at this point. Let's push down to more dexterity. Apply points. We're going to get to the bow build at some point. I don't like to admit it, but this bow build is so far a bit more efficient than my old minion build was. And I don't like admitting that because it means admitting I was wrong. Nobody likes doing that. I watched Projaro play Daggerfall. It's pretty cool. I actually get on really well with Projared. Uh, I reached out to him a couple of months ago. Just as a kind of, hey, dude, really like your videos kind of thing. Because he's doing a lot of old RPGs. He's done a lot of old RPGs. You know, the guy was one of the, the first people doing real deep dives into these old, abandoned, eclectic games. And I... I kind of want to just pick his brains about his process of doing it. And he was super accommodating, chatting. And every now and again, you know, we drop each other a message on like Discord or something. And he's he's hitting the gym. He's trying to get really fit. I'm trying to be really fit. So we're, we're supporting each other in that. We're chatting about games and whatnot. And I've said to him, if he ever you know, comes over to England, I'll have to make sure to find some time, pop down and say hi. Because he just he just seems like a nice guy. You know, I've never met him in, in, in person. But he's he's got he's got a lot of time for me, and he doesn't need to. And I've I've got a lot of kind of compassion and respect for people like that. Because I've met a lot of people. Oh, oh God, hang on, this is um, this is gonna be great. So when I was in the process of buying, attempting to buy a house, you have a kind of pre-house checklist where. A dude goes around and pretty much checks that everything in the house is kosher and it's all good and, you know, you're able to buy it and whatnot. And I was just chatting to this guy. He was doing his job and I was trying not to distract him too much. But we had a bit of time off and we were just talking. And I said, you know, so what kind of houses have you been working on recently? What kind of work have you been doing? And he went, oh, I went to an influencer house recently. Do you know what an influencer is? And I was like, uh, unfortunately, yes, I do. Uh, I suppose on a level, my job is is influencing as well. What was it like? And he's like, oh, it was crazy. This uh, He was going around an influencer house, huge, big, beautiful outside white facade, stepped inside, you know, gold-plated things, marble floors, Lamborghinis on the drive. And he said every single person he met was both the richest person he'd ever met and the most vapid and the most rude and the most annoying. And it was... He was treated like he was an imposition to even be there, which I think is a real shame. Um, because obviously the dude was doing his job, and I got on with him really well. I thought he was a, an absolute stand-up guy. But what that reminded me of was there's a lot of people, especially in this industry, for some reason. You find it more in this industry, and I think it's because this industry is very ego-driven. It's remarkably ego-driven. Most you know, big, successful creators have, on some level, a level of ego. 
And you've really got to keep that in check. You've got to hang around with people who keep you humble. You've got to hang around with people who will force you to face up to the, you know, your, your shortcomings and not turn into a dick. But this influencer house he was working at was clearly not doing that to its kids because they were like 19, 20 years old. And they were just treating the guy like absolute garbage, which is a real shame. I didn't realize there was a big crab just there. So now, I suppose where I'm going with this story is when I approach people who are successful content creators, who are successful influencers, if you will, the fact that they are willing to give me their time and remain humble says a lot about them. Yeah, it's a lot about them. Okay, look, come on. I'm just going to keep tanking this damage. Because shotgun build will work. I've got a lot of faith in shotgun build. I think we've found the new meta. At least for me, anyway. There we go. Shotgun bow to the face. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Have I played the old Kingsfield games? I have not. I'm going to make a video on Final Fantasy XI eventually, maybe. It's one of those older MMOs that I would require have to put a lot of time into before I felt comfortable making anything on. Okay, so Fish Scale Gauntlets, Armor 10, Evasion 10. Yeah, we're going to go with more Evasion than anything else. Shark Tooth Claw. I'm guessing that's a weapon. I'm not going to use that. Uh, Light Brigand. It's not yet identified now it is plus one to strength 11 to maximum life maximum mana oh that regenerates life per second that's probably good rusted coif i can't change because i need the green and the blue linked from that one to four physical damage to attacks oh can you only have like one one magical ring going on just there what's that oh that's your neck thing isn't it 24 to maximum life who needs life cowards need life we don't need life. May as well have Frost Blink into there. That gives me a W attack. So W now blinks me over there, but does some damage. Okay, cool. How dare you to sell out like this, to take the money to do something you like. I'm sorry. No, no, I take that back. I don't apologize for anything. I would love... Normally I spend money in games. Same. Same. That's, it, it does make me sad to think about how much money I've spent on Neverwinter over the years, but I enjoyed it when I did it, so it's fine. I can keep justifying it to myself. And at least I know that if I were to spend something on Path of Exile, if I were to buy... It's the bank tabs and stuff they do mostly. If I were to buy that kind of stuff and the stashes, then you still have them, which I think is fine. I'm not going to sit here and say it's the greatest company ever, but of all the monetization methods that we are currently as gamers presented with... This is probably the one I hate the least. I think that's probably the, the fairest way that I can put this. And I, I think that's honest. Did I play Tibia? I did not, actually. I did not. Tibia is one of the few games that I haven't played, but I do want to. Where the hell is the exit to this massive maze that I'm currently in? There's got to be a bloody exit somewhere. Have I just missed it? Or was that like... It might be down there. I think maybe this is the deepest this cave specifically goes. I think this is it. I've been wondering why there wasn't a Tibia video. There will be a Tibia video eventually. Just understand that most videos take a long time to make. So it takes me a hell of a long time to research and get to all of them. Yeah, this is just a side area, isn't it, for a side quest? So I don't think I need this anymore. Uh, let's return with a scroll. Yeah, we'll return back. It's fine. I can sell some stuff and then continue onwards. I'm not too bothered about gearing up too early on because you're going to get you know, better gear as you go through. Oh, Book of Skill. Grants a skill point. I'll take that. Sell you some stuff, my friend. I don't need the arrow quiver. I know that you get more if you sell them identified things, but I can't be bothered to identify a lot of things. So you're all being sold. Let's use the skill point. And let's push down toward the bow bit. I, sh I 
Come on, I've got to have enough for a, a better bow, but I do have enough for a better bow. Okay, hang on. Blue, green, blue, green, long bow. 8 to 33. Is it actually worth getting a better bow? Or is all you should really look for the color combinations? Why not drop those currents in the bank? I'm going to do that now. But is it worth getting an actual better bow, like better base damage? Or is it worth just looking for the combination of slots and connections together? People are saying, yes, it is worth getting a better bow. I'm assuming that the physical base damage of the bow also affects the damage of the skill that you then cast with it. Check the DPS on skill when you swap. Right, so for example, the the split arrow right now... Oh, I see. Attack damage, 102% of base. So getting a better thing does give you a better thing. Okay, so we want the highest base we possibly can. So we're looking at base damage of 8 to 33 for all of them. And then all we need is maybe attacks per second. Because these all seem exactly the same, apart from the different combinations. There's a blue and a green one there, so I can get myself a better helmet. Yeah, we'll grab that. What I'll do is I'll stick the blue and the green one on the bow, because what that will also do is that will switch. That's better. That's much nicer. Can I get that split arrow attack onto right click? There's got to be a way to do that. Let me just get rid of this one. Uh, you can go there. There is a way. You can rearrange what these buttons are, don't you? You can rearrange that. Uh, press on the right click space. Oh, okay. Double click it and you can choose what's there. Sweet. So we put split arrow just there. So you can choose. And then that one, I'm guessing, is the middle. So if I choose frost blink for that, I should be able to... I can't use it now, but if I were to press the middle button on the mouse, it would then frost blink me over there. And I can change default to nothing, which would just be walk. But I can't change that yet. Okay, cool. This has got it. Hey, Josh, I'm a new chatter. Welcome. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Make sure you get sharp arrows. Actually, the we're going for the shotgun effect. So blunt arrows would be much more brutal. Just firing hundreds of very thick bits of wood at the enemy. That's what it is. You have a walk skill. Okay, yeah, that works. Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. They knew that they couldn't afford the greatest Path of Exile player, but I was very much within their budget. And after watching this stream, they will understand why. So I think I've got everything, pretty much. Let's have a look at the next couple of quests. Use the silver coin in a town or hideout. Use my stash, first of all. So, stash is... I'm just going to chuck a load of this stuff in here. Creates a portal to the Halls of the Dead from a town or hideout. Uses currency in the Halls of the Dead to participate in Trial of the Ancestors. I should probably do that. Let me just stick all of this stuff in here. How annoyed would you guys be if... I just did this. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right. Use a silver coin. Okay, cool. That's a nice animation. Let's do it. So this is the new thing. I've genuinely not played this before. Drink from the Well of Passing. And we died. Your coming is a toll. But you are decades early. How odd. I am Navali. Once a Hatungo for my people. Now a revenant in service of the Mother of Death. Here you shall be tested by the greatest warriors that ever lived. You will be weighed and measured on the scales of fate. And okay, cool. So, um, have no fear. 
That explains stuff to me. Stuff, 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 stuff. Have no fear. The water of stuff and things. The path is treacherous. You should be able to drink again. It puts a message up saying. <laughs> so that is. This is almost like, from what I want to say, like a kind of chess style game. Dying for a fight. Start a match at the Eye of Destiny in the Halls of the Dead. So the Eye of Destiny. I'm assuming that's over here somewhere. Hello. You can talk to Great. lots of NPCs. They never stop us. Lots of stuff. I'm sure there's lore for people who really want lots of lore. And lots and lots of lore. Hello. Okay, if I were the Eye of Destiny, where would I be? Trying to find the the eye of destiny right now. We meet once more. One day time. Where's the trials? The souls of our people were on the verge of madness. Josh, don't skip the law. Okay. And on we until the trials were devised. Before the slumber of the gods, Hinekora devised this mock warfare to engage us, and she succeeded. The halls of the dead have never been so full of life. So to speak. Josh, please we know skip the this. games will eventually lose their amusement. But eternity is not forever. Okay, some of you want the law and some of you don't. So what's gonna happen is you're going to get half of the law. Therefore, everyone will be happy. Perfect? You okay with that? You good? They're, you both get in what you want. Everyone's happy now. Until next time. You get half the law each. You accept this deal. Some of you do, some of you don't. Is this the Eye of Destiny? Participate in the Trial of the Ancestors. Silver coin is required. Right. So, let's have a look. Rakita. From that tribe. I get some... stuff. That tribe, stuff, stuff, stuff. That dude, I'm guessing, is the toughest, because there's more stuff. You also get some really nice weapons and rings and things. Some decent sashes. There's a bow! I can take on you and get that bow. There we go. Rage Fletch. Short bow. Uh, physical damage, 7 to 19. It's lower than what I've got, but fire damage, cold damage, increased attack speed. Yeah, that's great. That sounds fine. Let's do that today. Let's kill him. Noble ancestors, a new challenger has arrived. Right. Opposite, so. we have... Tafanuku of the Hinikura tribe. So that's me. That's them. This is their army. I now need to select my army and put them in various places. So, the Tutara specialty non-engages in melee combat, throws cold spells from a distance, engages in melee combat. So this is effectively battle chess, but with Path of Exile mechanics. Right, this is one of the gimmicks, or is this one of the last seasons? This is, I think, one of the actual leagues. The, the whole league is about building your little kind of mini army to be able to do this. And we have flankers, defenders, and attackers. So we'll go with... You attacking down there to counter out you. You're an attacker, so you can just go there. And you're a distance cold spanner, so you can go back there. I have no idea how well this is going to go, so let's just see how well this works. Ready your weapons. Go! go. And the we fight. Okay, so I'm almost dead already. Because these guys are brutally powerful. Ha <laughs> ha! Blunk! Didn't expect that, did you? But it does seem that a remarkable amount of my guys are still alive. By a remarkable amount, I mean everyone apart from me is dead. I may have jumped into like a really high level thing instead of pacing myself out as I probably should have done. Death from on high. 
but it's okay. We're doing fine. That's not fine. I'll, I'll be real with that. That's less fine. Oh, good. You just come back. Right. Oh, that's easier. Do we need to actually defeat the totems or something? Win the match by... Ah, oh, hang on. Win the match by bashing all of your enemies' totems. Oh, I see what I'm doing. Right, so you've got to take down the <laughs> narrator, but it was not fine. Okay, so they've got three totems left, and I've got one totem left. Right, now I know what I'm doing. It's much easier. Yeah, now I know that you've got to take down the totems. Ah, it's so much simpler. You can do very little more than that. We have no choice but to listen. Okay, so what the we've done is, is we've actually over. fallen back not for a more dramatic yet. victory. So, uh, the match is finished. But I'm in the area still. I'm assuming you have to leave afterwards. You can level up. Right, so we've got to take down the totems. No, it's much easier when you read the tutorials and tips. Don't... Don't be coming in here with that kind of attitude, all right? That's not what we're doing. That's not the level that we're going for. Here, let's talk to you. Losing to Toffee is nothing to feel bad about. Losing is nothing to feel bad about. Thank you. Can you give me a favor? Oh, so I can use the basic stuff to buy the better people. So what I should probably do is do something much simpler. But you can only take on one fight with a coin. You need a coin to be able to do the thing. So that rewards you with that. That rewards you with that. Oh, and the rewards change every time. Okay. So good mauls, some hand mitts, some things. 24% increased global damage. Stun and block reflects melee. This is good. Yeah, thank you, obese to beast. I am a professional. Trust me. All right? When Chris Wilson calls you up at night and says, Josh, we need you to stream our new game mode. And I say, as I always say, Chris, how do you keep getting this number? You have to listen to him. He knows what I know. The old lead hacks are opening gambit. It's true. How does it feel when the NPC also piles up instead of just Twitch chat? So it's difficult to constantly be um, reminded of how mid you are. But maybe... I'm actually just falling back for a more dramatic victory. Now, what do we want from these things? Let's take on those guys. These guys look easy. Noble ancestors. Play your team. Done, done, done. Easy. Let's go. Okay. New plan. Fully apparate straight toward them. Stand over here. Run away. Just blitz through them. Okay. Forget everything to do with tactics. Forget tactics. Just take down totems. Who cares? Doesn't matter if we die. Not a problem. It's okay. Everyone remember, D, 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 D. Do damage, don't die. That's the best tactic. Why is my essence being pulled toward the enemy's ancestral totem? I don't like this. There we go. Yeah, they're my dudes. Kill the totems. And they, oh, so the totem actually kills you, so that yes. So I feel that I'm taking a lot of damage by just standing here. But me just being here seems to be a bad idea by itself. Why do the enemy have way more people than I have? I'm starting to think maybe this isn't just me being bad. Maybe this is just really hard. For Quiz Wilson's perspective, this is a perfect league starter. Feedback on the game design analysis instead of mechanical analysis. So, from... I'd like the idea of battle chess within Path of Exile. That's great. Uh, I also think that most people like me will just rush forward and try and take on the, the stuff. The Rock is not so simple. You'll have to study her unconventional... Thank you. Guessing... Go for it. More people... Rakyata has a fighting style all her own. To give me I mean, I'm out of coins now, anyway. 
Uh, also strictly a YouTube viewer, glad to see the stream live. Oh, welcome, hopefully you're having a lovely day. I mean, I'm terrible at these types of games. The PNG vest is bad because it's bloody warm, that's true. Maybe I'm just bad at this. Nobody likes to admit that. Can I? Oh, then you can just talk to people about stuff. Many stories, knowledge, things. Okay, cool. Lots of lore. And lost. Oh, he bet on me and lost. I'm sorry about that. You know what? Maybe I should just get less crap at the game before returning to this game mode. Check your inventory. Nothing in it. Nothing in it at all. That's what it is. The game is just cheating. It is pretty hard. Maybe reading the uh, paperback manual that came with the game. So, the problem is, and I think I've worked out what I'm doing wrong, I need to get good. Because at the minute, I am not getting good enough. So if I play a little bit more of the actual kind of game, then I'm going to get gooder. So, these, I think, are the things I need to do. Find the path to the Emperor's Road. Assuming it's that one. Cool. Yes, I do need to get good. The game's a little loud. Hang on. There you go. Take it down slowly. I increased the game volume just so you guys could hear the stuff. So right click is that. W is dodge. E is mark people. I can take that. So I've tried the dying for a fight. It was difficult. Travel to the prisoner's gate. That is through the mud flaps and the submerged passage. So let's travel to there. Do damage, get good. DD, GG, do damage, don't die, and be good. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, the mudflats. There we go. Found them. We travel through the mudflats, and then we go all the way to there. Maybe, like, I should do this before being within Act 1. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe Act 1 was way too... Maybe I, I was too hopeful that I'd get click harder on the mouse. It's always the simple stuff that I forget to do. Maybe I thought too much of myself. Yeah, you know what? When you go back to the easier enemies, I'm much better at this game. Tanks don't have to do damage, we have to survive. Ah, well I have to do damage. The What? I think the mistake I made was... I died. And... My my build is mostly built around not doing that. So unfortunately when that happened I was ill prepared. But if I fight this way I feel better about myself. Have I tried not dying? Actually no. That may have been the better place. So the submerged passage is not the way through it, it must be, though, because the submerged passage is here. They're the mudflats, and the next thing is over here, so I've got to get through. Ah, but I don't want to go to the flooded depths. I see what's happening. So you want to be in the submerged passage, but not within the depths. Gotcha. It's okay. Some veteran streamers failed their first trial. I know. I did. You were here when it happened. Just goes to show that even a, a Path of Exile vet like me can sometimes be overwhelmed by new mechanics. But it's very important that we don't get downhearted. We pick ourselves up. Remember, the professional has failed more times than the beginner has tried. And I have failed more times than the beginner has failed. That gives me hope. That makes me think strong powerful thoughts about myself i need a stronger shotgun bow build first my build should be strong enough that as soon as i attack in that league everyone just dies i won my first trial am i the best poa player i think if you win your first trial you actually now are the ceo of grinding gear games that's how it has to work i am inspired thank you thank you i do live my life to in an inspirational way I try as hard as I can to be an inspiring force for people in the world. I know many world leaders look to me for Path of Exile advice. You'd be surprised the amount that play it. 
I want to thank you for something from a month ago. I've been working on not using nesting phrases, and it helped me in streams and in person. Yomi, I'm really glad that helped you out, genuinely. Well done for that. It is a hard thing to do. Any level of self-reflection is difficult, and it's never nice to admit that, you know, everyone needs self-improvement. So well done. Genuinely. I thought a POE stream would just be a protein bar eating while staring into the camera. That is a very special event that you only get once a week. Okay? Maybe once a week, maybe once, maybe once a month. If you're lucky. But don't don't think that you get it any more than that. That's You're going to get greedy. If I give you more protein bar eating streams than that, although saying that, I do have a protein bar next to me. But I don't want... I don't want you to expect it, you know? I know it's not an MMO, but ever played the Fable games? You know what? I've never actually played the Fable games. I've seen people play them. And I've had friends who have played them. I know that Stephen Fry was in one of them. But I'm, I wouldn't consider myself an expert on the Fable games at all. So I do want to sit down and play through all of them. Like I said, the, the great thing about the second channel with the whole Was It Good series is it just opens up an absolute world of of potential and possibilities to any video game that I want to play through. I mean, Baldur's Gate 1, 2, and 3 at some point, Roller Coaster Tycoon, the old J. Cocoon games, the old Splinter Cell games, the Silent Hill games, the Metal Gear Solid games. There's so much potential and scope for games that I can play through. It's one of the reasons that I started the second channel. Whoever said the Bouncer 2, get out. No, don't do it. It's very easy to like them and very easy to dislike them. They're both totally valid points. Was any... Never played those games before. You can't eat a protein bar while playing Path of Exile. I would get too swole. I love it when people say to me, Oh, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to get too big. You know? Like it's easy. <laughs> I don't want to get too big. Same. You know? I walk into the gym, pick up a weight. Boom. I've won three Mr. Olympia titles before even leaving. If anything, you've got to work to make sure you don't get too big. It's it's so easy. We call it doing an Arnold. That's what happens when you walk into the gym, pick up the first weights you get, and just immediately you're, you're too buff, if anything. Yeah. You, you just touch your weight, immediately gain muscle. That's what happens. Uh, it's, it's very much a strange case of... Ooh, I don't want that to happen too much. Look, it won't happen. You won't get too big, because people have to spend years working on their exact diet, their exact routine, specifically to gain any mass at all. The fact that people worry, like it's a genuine worry they can walk into the gym and just accidentally put on more muscle than professionals are able to put on in months. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen at all. I like how you can just shoot the thing from all the way over there. I also very much like how we've got skeleton archers going on now. Okay, so don't stand too close to that place, because that thing is also very super dangerous. Assuming this is like a totem that I can get rid of. Ah, you got to run up to it and stop it. Oh, okay. You grab it and it puts the thing on you for a bit. That I can use! Hang on. Give me a second, guys. I've got 30 seconds to just abuse this. There's a lot of design choices that I very much do like. Let's just get rid of this totem. Beautiful stuff. Hey, Josh. Nice to see you live. Mighty Nord, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Thank you for joining us. Uh, gnarled branch, that's a staff and not a bow. I want a bow. Have I tried Dark and Darker? I have not tried Dark and Darker. Is it any good? Is it a game that I should try? Let me know. Let's just throw some more skill points on. We are getting closer and closer and closer to this bow thing. Which I think is pretty good. Alright, cool. We'll apply those points. If I hang on, we could... We could even reset, because didn't I put one point into life? I did. I put one point into life and strength. You know what? That's all the life and strength we need. That's it. Do I think GGG changed PoE 2 to a separate game because of the Overwatch 2 flop? I think they changed Path of Exile 2 to a separate game because they kept wanting to add in stuff to Path of Exile 2, which was clashing with what Path of Exile 1's creation 
would have allowed. And eventually, halfway through, they went, you know what? Let's just make a new game. I very much think they looked at what Path of Exile 1 was limited on, said, why is it limited on this? What do we need to do to make it not limited on this so we can do more? And ultimately, the answer came down to just make a new game. What I very much hope is that Path of Exile 2 goes the same way that Guild Wars 1 and Guild Wars 2 went. As in, they're both very enjoyable experiences, but they are unique enough and different enough that there are going to be people that are still playing 1, people that want to play 2, and people that want to play both. And I have to admit, I very much appreciate the fact that they explained that your purchased stash stuff would span both games. Oh, they didn't need to do that. That was another... That's another decent monetization thing. Ah, hang on, I picked up a thing, didn't I? And it went into straight away. Increased mana regen. Fantastic, I'll take that. Does this game have co-op? Yes, it does. How far did I get in Guild Wars? Am I still playing? So, Guild Wars 1 I very much enjoy. I haven't had much time to play it recently, but I do think it's definitely, without a doubt, one of the the better RPG games. Not necessarily MMORPGs, because I don't think it would describe itself as an MMORPG, but it is definitely one of the good online RPGs. Guild Wars 1 was fantastic, and I was reading about it, because when I was playing Guild Wars 1, I ended up thinking to myself, this is weirdly like Magic the Gathering. As in, you had, I think it was seven skills that you could freely swap around in town. It may have been six skills. You can freely swap around in town, and then when you go out to an adventure zone, you're pretty much stuck with them, and that's what you have to use for that adventure zone. And then I read about the design of the game, and it turns out that actually it was based on the whole Magic the Gathering idea of getting your starting hand of specific cards and then going out to use those cards. And I respected that. Sure, though. I'm going to have to demote you from main monitor down to second monitor while I stream some PUBG. I don't even know why I'm on the main monitor. Why are you putting me there? I know my place. Put me on the second monitor. That's where I live. That's where I belong. I don't really have enough time to use the, the mark function. Because I've got that ability that marks enemies and then splits off projectiles. But by the time I've marked anything, the thing is dead. I'm on your phone screen. Good. I'll take that. Love the Golden Sun video the moment you teased it on Twitter. Oh, it's a good game. It is a good, good... The problem that I have is I love reviewing RPGs. But they are such a big risk on YouTube. Because RPG content takes so long to make, it takes at least a month. And if I replay a full RPG, make a video on it, and it doesn't do very well, then that's a bad month. If you're knocking out a video every week, you're knocking out a video every day, and it doesn't do very well, not a problem. You just move straight on to the next one. But it's a big risk. In fact, I even messaged Pro Jared about this. I'm like, dude... How do you do it? How do you review all these super long RPGs and make super detailed long videos about them? And he just replied, there's a reason I don't anymore. I'm like, yeah, no, I get it now. I totally understand. I get why you've done that. What are, what are my top three RPGs? Are we talking like offline... That looked like a trap. Are we talking offline single player RPGs or online RPGs? Because if we're going offline single player... Baldur's Gate 2, without a doubt. Let me think now. What are your favourite, guys? Off offline single-player RPGs. Okay, cool. Isn't all your YouTube content kind of high commitment? It is, because I make a video a week. Uh, or a video a month if I you know, want to do a bigger, uh, more complex topic. I suppose the question is then, can I mark that and then shoot you? Yes, I can. Uh, hang on. We're doing shotgun blasts to the big false god. Easy peasy. What are your favourite ones, guys? So, Baldur's Gate 2, without a doubt. I would say Morrowind. Morrowind, I think, is a, a really good example of a decent RPG. You know, 
Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim sit in an interesting place for me because I think RPGs walk that line between being pure stat-driven RPGs with no action within them. As in all of your you know, success and failure is based on the numbers or all of your success and failure is based on your kind of control of the actual combat. So you look at like Dark Souls and Elden Ring would be mostly action, whereas Morrowind would be pretty much entirely stats. I think Morrowind was stat-based, Skyrim was action-based, and Oblivion was probably a nice mix of the two. Because Oblivion has the, the stat system complexity of Morrowind, with the action focus of Skyrim. Skyrim, I think, walked too far away. Bone wheels, god damn it. I hate you in any game you're in. I think Skyrim walked too far away from being an RPG and just enjoyed being an action game. And it's not a bad action game at all, but it is an action game as opposed to an RPG. Skyrim melee combat is bad. I mean, we can all, we can all collectively agree that Skyrim melee combat is bad. The Witcher 3 was good. I enjoyed Divinity Original Sin 2. So, best RPGs. That's a big question. Baldur's Gate 2, and I'm only saying 2 because I haven't yet played 3, because I'm scared it's going to take over my life. Chrono Trigger, without a doubt. I think Chrono Trigger is one that needs to be there. That's a... Oh, you've got me thinking now. I don't like doing that at all. What are we thinking? It's bland. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Skyrim's melee combat might not be bad, because it is still functional. I haven't played the Mass Effect games. Please don't hate me. What were the RPGs that I spent the longest on? Probably Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, probably FF7. Although, as an RPG, I'm not sure if I enjoyed FF10 more than FF7. 10 part 1, not 10 part 2. Have I heard of Ruthless Mode? I have, but... The problem is... I don't want to try Ruthless Mode and be so good that I make all the other streamers feel bad. And I'm very scared that would happen. It's... Sometimes... I am too scared of my own skill, and I think that if I were to, you know, put 100% effort into something, others would not try, because they knew they wouldn't be able to keep up. And that does keep me awake at night. I do... I do worry about that sometimes. Sometimes, my genius, it is frightening. One was my favourite saying. There was a. Uh, I'll Google this in a second. There was a tennis match years ago between something like the thirtieth ranked tennis player and the fifth or sixth ranked tennis player. It was a bit of a charity joke match. And from what I remember, the story goes, they played. I think it was eight matches. And I want to hang on, I've got to get this. Because this is very funny. If I can find this one, this is this is a, a saying that I fall back to a lot. That was the one. That was it. So Vetus Garuliitis was playing against Jimmy O'Connors in nineteen eighty. And they played, like, a, a charity game, and they played 18 games. And Vetus lost 17 games. And No, sorry, he was playing 17 games, and they, he lost 16 games in a row. And then he won the 17th, and he finished it by saying, let that be a lesson to you. No one beats Vetus 17 times in a row. <laughs> Which I thought was fantastic. The fact that you've still got that level of cocky, arrogant positivity, even after being beaten 16 times in a row. That is, that's a level of confidence I aspire to be. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, when I get back to, that's going to happen with the League mechanic in Path of Exile. We're going to go back to the League once we find more of the, of the coins and I'm eventually going to win, and it's going to be a lesson to the game that nobody beats me 16 times in a row. Uh, you're saying the fake vest is back? I do not know what you mean. Hold up. Hang 
Hang on, I want his bow. Give me your bow. Oh, okay, cool, you did. Uh, serrated arrow quiver, tower shield, staff, chest plate, mole. Nothing else. <gasps> we got a level, though. Levels are good. Le we are... Oh, we're creeping closer. Creeping closer to the bow mastery. What do we want? 100% to accuracy rating per green socket on equipped bow. Increased mirage archer. Because there's lots of cool stuff around here. Bow damage, bow damage evasion. Yeah, we're going full bow. I need a better bow, though. I need a better bow, and I need it to do some kind of lightning damage. If I can get this spread shot equipped with lightning, I'll be happy. I also want the most evasion possible. 100% evasion. They said a melee bow build wouldn't work. And while they may have been right... It is something I'm going to do, and keep doing, and not listen to advice on. Because believe me, I have not got this far in life by listening to good advice. Split arrow is good for bleeding builds. Alright, we can do a bleed build. A bleed bow. Okay, so we mark you, and then just literally sit here and tank your damage. I like how I can blink past you and do some damage as well. See? Perfect. Oh, too much stuff. Oh, we do have too much stuff. Goodness me. Large mana flask, but we'll stick you there. I'm not really using much mana flasks. I need a health flask, because I've only got small health flasks. We've not identified that yet. It could be better. Plus four to maximum life. No, that's terrible. Oiled vest. Unidentified. Regenerates life, fire resistance, cold resistance, regenerates 1.4, 1.8. Reflects two physical damage. I'm going for a physical bow build. So, yeah, we pretty much go for that. That's what we push into. Does the PoE community like the game again? No, I think they hate it more, but play it. No community hate a game more than the community that play that game religiously. That's the way you should do it. Yeah, when I run out of arrows, just slap them with the bow. I'm going for a strength-based melee bow build. I want split arrows that also do lightning damage. That's all I want. That chain from people to people, or do some kind of bleed. And I think we can build it. I'm too lazy to watch the video. Is Golden Sun worth playing right now? I mean came out in 2001 so yeah it's fine so i'd say it's a pretty good rpg i like how you're too lazy to watch a two-hour retrospective video but you'll absolutely go and play a 40-hour rpg i respect that you're like i've not got time for this i need to make time for playing the hundreds of rpgs i need to play that take an absolute ton of time okay fair that's fair you're, you're a busy person i get it we're going to the right Never never said I was going to play it. You're like, is this game worth playing? Yes. Good. Going to play it? No. Look, these guys have got the right idea. See? Short bow. Physical damage 6 to 16, but mine is 8 to 33. So mine is way better. Nothing in here. Yeah, they had the right idea with lightning stuff. Let's just find a way around here. Have I played Octopath Traveler? I have not played Octopath Traveler, but again, I've heard good things. I've got a lot of RPGs to catch up on. I really do. I saw you stream Exilecon the other day. Thank you very much. Figured I'd give this game a go rather than Diablo 4. Good choice. Got hooked on it. Just got into the end game. Been doing Cult My Brother. It's good fun, isn't it? Started playing it again. Um, so GGG got at least one new and one returning player from your stream. That's all I need. I'm going to send that to them. Be like, look, guys, it's worth it. See? You chose the right man for the right job. No, I think that... Well, I know that I would not accept a sponsorship from a game I don't play. And believe me, my emails are full. I think... I think you you know, or at least I know, 
pretty quickly. Blood and sand. Cool. Whether a person contacting me actually watches my videos and knows what I'm about. And the way that I know it is because the ones that don't watch my videos or know what my channel is start their emails with, Hey, we watch your channel and love what you do. And I thought, no, you don't. Because if you loved what I do, you would absolutely not be coming to me because your game is the type of game that I hate. The ones that actually do watch the channel normally be like, Hey, Josh, we've seen you playing blah, blah, blah. Do you want to play blah, blah, blah? And I'll go, yes, yes, I'll play that just fine. Or Chris, who just messages on Discord, which is so much easier. Hey, <laughs> I don't watch your channel and don't like what you do. Fair enough. This is a good stream to watch as I descale my Keurig. You know what, Blunder Performer? I'm glad you said that because that's actually the demographic that I've been pushing into recently. And everyone told me it was too small. Everyone said, Josh, it's too specific. I mean, I know that the YouTube and the Twitch advice is niche down. Niche down so specifically that you get one very focused audience. And I sat down and I thought, there aren't enough Twitch streams or YouTube videos dedicated to people currently descaling their Keurigs. There's a gap in the market here. And if I don't fill that, somebody else will. And I'm really glad that you've said that, because that, that vindicates a lot of my decisions over the last month. I've changed my... yeah, I've changed a lot of my content specifically to adapt to that. I'm glad it's worked. Thank you very much for the gifted sub. I knew it would work. Thank you, see? You change, you focus, you get... the vest is fake. Yeah, it's really warm. It's really warm in this room. It wasn't like... Either someone... I put my arm to the side, and I, I swear to God, I felt like another weird hand touching my arm just there. I'm alone in this room. If there's a ghost in this room, pay rent. Alright? Or tidy. One of the two. You ain't living here for free. Let's carry on. What a time to join. The time to join when I just leant to the side slightly. I've got no problem with the house being haunted. What I've got a problem with is the fact that they're not really pulling their weight. That's what I've got. What is my preferred D&D &D class? Paladin, all the way. I'm a basic white boy. Just give me a paladin, I'll be happy. Um, we need to level up and do some stuff, because I've got some things. What's blood and sand? Spell, stance. Casts a buff that grants different bonuses to melee skills depending on your stance. Use the skill again, alternates stances. It's all melee skills. Who needs that? Cowards need that. Let's use the portal scroll, go back to town and sell some stuff. Is it warm enough to loosen a button, though? It might be. Ed, my, you know what? I think I will. I'll loosen one button. This one just here that you can't see. You can't see it, but it is open. Okay? I'm going to forget that's open by the end of the stream. Guarantee it's open. Let's sell some stuff. Oh, rewards! Reward time! Faster attack support. Supported skills have 21% increased attack speed. That's green. What would it link to? I could link that to Split Arrow, but I wouldn't be able to link it to Prismatic Support, which is annoying. Uh, added Cold Damage. Added Lightning Damage. Interesting. Okay. Uh, fire Damage. Melee Splash Support. Lesser multiple projectiles. Support skills deal less projectile damage, but they fire two additional projectiles. Unbound ailments supports any skill that... Okay, cool. More damage and life tap. Minions cannot gain the life tap. Supported skills cost life instead of mana. Let's not do that. What is a good choice? Faster attacks might be decent. That would link to... Because what I would need is Split Arrow, Prismatic Burst, and Faster Attacks. That'd be very good. You're saying Lesser Multiple Projectiles, LMP. Are we going with Lesser Multiple Projectiles? Supported skills fire 15% less projectile damage, but two... Is two... Yeah, more projectiles, you guys are saying? Added damage is good. This is less damage but more projectiles. So it would work with Split Arrow. 
Lesser is always good. Okay, cool. Let's go with lesser multiple projectile support, but I don't yet have the thing needed to make it work because what I would need is I would need blue, green, and green. So blue, green, green is what we would need, and I don't currently have that. So maybe I can purchase some items off her that do have that. Oh, she sells all the stuff anyway. Fair enough. Okay. I suppose I'll just have to go through all that at some point. Let's sell things to you. Because a lot of what I want to do as far as the build goes is if I can have blue connecting to green and green connecting to another green that also gives lesser projectiles on split arrow, I will be firing how many? Fires five additional arrows, so I would fire seven arrows. Check for boots and helms with the equipment. I'm going to. If I can fire seven arrows and each arrow is hitting for prismatic burst, that would be good. Chooses an element at random of either cold lightning or fire. Okay. 12% increased cooldown recovery rate, but that's fine because I'm firing more of them. So yeah, I very much need to find some links them all together. Only one projectile per attack hits. Prismatic Burst has an internal cooldown. Is it worth changing Prismatic Burst for something else then? Because if it's worth changing Prismatic Burst for a different connected skill, like Lightning or something, ditch Prismatic Burst, change that for something else. Let's just see what else there might be that would work. So if I was to change Prismatic Burst, which is blue... Let's see if there's another... I've got some armor first, see if we can work this out. Let's check with you. You sell cool weapons, but I don't think you have the armor that I need. I need green, green, blue. There's blue, blue, blue. No. Not saying enough from this dude here. Love how experimental this game can be. It's overwhelming. It very much is. Prismatic Burst is good for elemental builds like the Witch, but I want something else. So I need... I mean, I could go green, green, green. There's a triple green somewhere. I'm sure I saw that. I'm sure there was a triple green connection. Just a triple connection. There's triple blue. Was there a bow that he had that had some cool stuff? No, not that he's got. Can you still re-roll the colours? I don't know. But let's see if she has any cool things over here. So what I need is split arrow connected with... If I take off prismatic burst and instead put split arrow connected to lesser multiple projectile support... Can you see what it would work with? Yeah, okay. So that should have split arrow fire a lot of arrows, but that still doesn't do anything special. You can buy triple blue boots and make them green times three. Okay, where are the triple blue boots? Did you say there were those? And what would I need to re-roll the color? You said there were some triple blue things somewhere. I'm sure we did see... We've got some triple things there and some triple shoes. You need chrome. Chromatic orb re-rolls the colours. Does it re-roll all the colours randomly? Or do I get to choose which ones it re-rolls them to? Because if it re-rolls them randomly, that would uh, be very annoying. It's RNG. Ah, it's random. That's probably not worth using yet. Dex items have more green. Okay, so it's semi-random, is it? We've got green and green. I suppose I can buy some boots and use a random thing to see what happens. It's weighted toward the strat, see what happens. We could buy some warped boots. It costs a scroll of wisdom. We've got loads of them. Buy some boots. And you know what? If we get green, 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 or green, green, blue, I'll be happy, because I don't think there are any... Red, so right click and then. Oh, goddamn, okay! That worked perfectly! We got green, green, blue reroll! 
That's exactly what we needed. That is damn okay. So split arrow goes there, connected with lesser multiple projectiles, and now we need a blue thing that adds up. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris Wilson, for the streamer luck right there. Let's purchase items. Okay, we need a blue gem that does... We could just add the prismatic burst to it, but that has got an internal cooldown. What is the internal cooldown? So it's a cooldown time of 0.8 seconds. So what I want is a blue... I want a support gem, don't I? Are all support gems blue, or are they just more spell gems? Didn't you say there was a bleed thing? Type equals support. Oh, yeah. Okay, so hang on. Where is SUP in there? But if we go for extra... Cool. Okay. So SUP is support. That is very cool. Lightning support. All right. S skills hit lightning damage. Cool. You can search for support. Poison is strong, you say. Attack support, six life gained per enemy hit with supported attacks. That supports attack skills. That would work with split arrow. Life gain hit on support. Could we just, like, build a siphoning life gain kind of thing where I just fire an absolute ton of arrows and... Does that... Does that trigger with every single arrow that hits? And I'm firing seven. Will that work? It's weak, but you say it's weak. You can, you can certainly try. Thanks, Mad Mercer. Every hit, as in every single arrow. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Increase critical strike, knockback, stun, accuracy. Mana forged arrows. Support bow attack skills works with split arrow. 40% less damage. Okay. 1% more with hits and ailment per one mana cast. No, not bothered about that one stuff. Uh, in the gem, top line tells you what modifier it uses. Caustic Arrows uses AoE, so you can shotgun multiple poison things. So it's... The top line, it tells you what it uses. So attack support, general support, any skill that hits enemies. You want to be killing things so quickly that you don't take much or any damage. Fast attack, 20% increased attack speed. That could work. Didn't someone say poison? Someone said that poison would be an interesting one. Where? Where be poison? More damage. So that does poison, but it's not a thing. I know that some of you in the chat might be thinking, Josh, make a decision quickly. No, no. No, we're okay. We, we have time. We can wait. 10% more physical damage. Maim on it. You can search bow. Support bow. Okay, cool. So it's now just supports and bows specifically. That's way easier. Thank you. Support spells that use bows or wands. Instead of a skill, you will throw a trap that will use the skill when an enemy walks near it. Instead of using the skill, you will throw a trap that will use the skill when an enemy walks near it. So I would throw a trap that does split arrow, but would that also connect to lesser multiple projectiles? I don't know. Yes. People say. Blast chain mine. You will throw a mine that uses the skill when you detonate it, or that one. Supported skills deal 20% less trap damage. Oh no, we're not doing less damage. Hell no, we're doing way more damage. Now, arrow Nova, Mana Forged Arrows. That's basic support. Any skill that hits enemies. There's a lot of stuff here. 
but works. Every game is different, and POE can be extremely punishing if you're not killing things quickly enough. We do want to... The other supports do not matter. Segmented, which one do you think we should go for? Some people are saying Ballistas. Ballista Totem. Okay, supports any bow or wand attack skill, causing it to summon a Ballista Totem that uses the skill for you. I suppose so, but I'm not sure if I want to use lots of stuff with that. Some of you are saying just Lightning. Just go with full-on Lightning. Oh, there we go. Supported skills have lightning damage. Um, that is a... It might just stick the prismatic burst on it. Oh, no, I sold it. Just one thing, though. Your current open link is a blue slot. That is a very good point. The current open link is a blue slot. Someone said try Galvanic Arrow. But that is green, I believe. You said try Galvanic Arrow. Lightning Attack Projectiles releases arrows along with a burst of lightning, which damage all enemies in a cone. The arrows degrade in flight as the lightning dissipates. 50% of physical converted to lightning. Fires two additional arrows, one radius. Increases... All right, cool. Lightning. Give it a go. We're getting that. It's blue. Thanks for saying try Galvanic Arrow. That won't work because I have a blue slot and not a green one. Check your equipped bow. Let's not worry too much about this. Added lightning for blue. Do we have lightning for blue? There is lightning but it's not support. I suppose added lightning damage support could work. I'm going to buy it, and then we'll we'll switch around stuff later on. Let's add you to there, just to see what happens. Right, now, let's see what happens when I right-click stuff. It should be good. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's not a problem. Uh, where am I going to? Travel to the prison. Next. I believe the prison is there. So, through here, back on. Some are saying this is the best part of Path of Exile. Okay, so that's... <laughs> I mean... It worked. I'll take it. It works pretty well. Lightning arrow build, use lightning arrow to attack and artillery ballistas to summon, for example. Okay, we can build into that. It's definitely doing slightly more. Where is the lightning? Yes, I'm going for the sawn off shotgun build, as we say. Lightning Arrow is really good, you will love it. Added Lightning Damage Support to Split Arrow and Multiple Projectiles. Lightning... Yeah, let's try it, let's see what happens. I mean, stuff's dying. Do you get Lightning on every arrow? Because I'm not seeing it on every arrow. Which is a shame. Oh, silver coin. Did I miss a silver coin? Yes, I did. There we go. Thank you. I would assume I get, like, a little lightning thing on every coin. It just doesn't shock if you don't... Oh, okay. So, if you get a critical hit, then it shocks. Let's just stick the... prismatic thingy back on there. Because I don't think I'm attacking fast enough to yet hit the limit of that. Can't go through there. That works. Not that way yet. If you press C, you can inspect your damage. Oh, okay, cool. 
Ah, and when you change that around, can you see how that would then change? No, not quite. Oh, I see, it's there. Right, so... Take off the lightning damage, 64.8. Add on prismatic burst. Damage per use is 41. But we have to very specifically... 72.7. Number of arrows to fire, 8. I do want to fire more arrows. I love the amount of detail that you can get from every attack. And those numbers lie to you. And we're getting... We're just going to build up to a super fast archer. I want to fire more arrows than arrows exist. That's what I want. Just want an absolute ton of arrows all the time. And I think I have a thing that's currently unequipped. Let's go with... Where was my sniper's mark? Yeah, let's stick you over here. Oh, I've now got two sniper's marks. Okay. You never high enough int stat for the lightning gem, don't I? That makes sense. 21 intelligence, added lightning sport. It doesn't happen. I need more intelligence. I'm not smart enough to use the gem. That is what's happening. I am too dumb to use the gem, but smart enough to use the prismatic burst. Thank you for pointing that out. Quick, get the smart water. Have a quick chug of that. In the court of the I think this is like a challenge. Ah! Right. So don't get caught in the damage. See, running there should be easy. It's the running back that's quite difficult. I can't believe that you said, I don't know what I want or need. I know exactly what I want. I just don't know if I'm smart enough to do it. I want a bow that fires so many arrows that when I you know, release all of them, whatever's in front of me turns into a fine mist. That's what I want. I want to be able to turn the enemy into a gentle mist. You run past all these spikes. I assume that was correct. In the court. Because, like, unless it's that way that I've got to go now. I see what I've done. That's better. Okay, so this is a gem that I can actually use, but it has a cooldown time. What I want when I shoot faster whoa, is a gem that has no cooldown time. I'm fine, don't worry about it. I'm not fine. I'm very dead. There we go. That dude is exactly who I want to be. Look at him. I love him. Grab his slippers. Have you tried just shooting more arrows? No. No, I haven't, actually. I think I should probably try that. That's what I should do. Alright, I've solved the trial of ascendancy. Prison, Act 1, complete. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, there's like six of them, aren't there? To do. Let me just try shooting more arrows, see if that works. Maybe I should level up a little bit. Why can't you dual hand bows? I don't know. Games always skip over that. Games always forget that. Games are always like, oh, we're super realistic. You know, we're going for full-on medieval realism. And then you can't even double hand a bow. Okay, so... Okay, so if I, yeah, use the thing on that dude. So it fires more arrows. Hey, there we go. All right, we're taking this guy down. This is fine. We're doing good. 
You need to put like three bows on top of each other, shoot them all at once. It'd be so easy. Put that galvanic arrow in the split arrow. You might like it. Okay, let's have a look, see what it does. We'll give it a go. Happy to give anything a try. So you said put the... Did we buy Galavanic Arrow? Lightning Attack Projectile AoE Bow. Okay. Releases arrows along with a burst of lightning, which damages all enemies in a cone. The arrows degrade in flight. Fires two additional arrows. So you want to put that there instead of Split Arrow. Uh, so Split Arrow fires more projectiles. Way more projectiles. But let's see what happens if we... Okay. That, I'm assuming, works with the other stuff. We'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. Might work, might not. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Ah, upper prison. So we're doing that now, are we? Inventory screen at the game. Yeah, we'll just play like this. This is how the game should be played. Feels slower. It's not bad, though. I mean, it's not bad at all. But we are firing substantially fewer arrows. Maybe that totem thing should have worked. It's like a really high-caliber taser. This is the taser build. I feel that more arrows would be good. So, the galvanic arrow is fine, but I like the split arrow, because that fires more. Now, 21 intelligence. What do I currently have? My intelligence... It's 20. Is it worth putting a single point into intelligence just to be able to use the added lightning support damage? Is it worth level? Because I've got one point that I can level up. At people are like, absolutely not. Don't you dare do it. Okay. Aha, hang on. Bow damage. 12% increased damage with bows. 10% increased damage over time. Yes. Hits that deal elemental damage remove exposure to those elements and inflict exposure to other elements. Interesting. Attack mastery. Boring. Fire mastery. Accuracy mastery. Yeah, okay. Let's do bow mastery. Let's go to bow damage. Apply points. We're doing more bow damage. Right. Okay, so we definitely want to be using prismatic burst. We definitely want less and multiple projectile support. What's that one? Frost blink. No, we can't use that. Okay, cool. Until we find a better support gem, this is what we're going with. Lots of arrows. Lots of arrows all the time and whatever these are a simple robe is it better plus three maximum mana cold resistance I'm not too bothered about min maxing yet to be fair yeah that's I like this this is good this is a lot of damage Especially with the bouncing stuff off you. Heal, 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 and run. See, when I put the Hunter's Mark onto that big enemy, every time I hit him, other stuff bounces off him, which is very good. Yeah, cursed enemies split projectiles toward other enemies, which is great. There's a green and a blue, but it's not connected together. Okay, cool. Josh, why is your voice normal in live streams, but different in your videos? Probably because when I'm doing a video, I am not thinking about what I need to say at the same time. I am just reading off the screen and trying to present. I put on what you would call the presenter voice. I mean, if I were to do it right now with the stuff that's on the screen, I'd be saying something like, 
Dying for a fight, start a match at the Eye of Destiny in the Halls of the Dead. The caged brute, explore the prison and kill Brutus. The way forward, travel to Prisoner's Gate. Mercy mission, travel to the Tidal Islands and find the medicine chest. See, if I can just read what's on the screen, I can do it pretty easily. But what I can't do is think about what I need to say at the same time. Simple streamer brain, can't process too many things, don't make me. God damn, son! This guy is angry! Thankfully, he wasn't ready. Couldn't handle the neutron style. That's what he couldn't handle. Don't need a spirit shield. Shields are for cowards. I also have trouble thinking. Yes, yes we do. Sniper's Mark will generate more projectiles when scaling... Okay, so there was another upgrade, some kind of ballista thing. Which also spawns little ballistas to fire things for me as well. I'm guessing when I have things that are connected to four, I should get that. I should have a look at the ballista, see if I can get a ballista build going on. I'm assuming a ballista build is a thing. Thinking about getting ESO for the first time. Do it, it's a good game. Elder Scrolls Online, always a, a good thing to recommend. It's a fun online time. I mean, the monetization can be a little bit egregious with it. Can't, uh, you can't shy away from that. It's, it's the kind of case where if you want to do crafting, you very much need ESO Plus to get the crafting back. Do I ever get video burnout? All the time. Absolutely. Anyone that creates any level of content constantly absolutely does, without a doubt. You should add a channel a point award where you use your sexy narration to narrate for a minute. Just anything on screen at the exact time. I'm tempted to try that ballista thing, because someone did mention about summoning a ballista instead of the prismatic support, but was the ballista gem... Explosive Arrows Ballista and Toxic Rain Ballistas are the most popular. Where are the minions? Trying a different build. Trying a build with just me. I know, scary. It is scary. You are right, though, that running a dungeon through Elder Scrolls Online is very, very difficult to do, especially if you're running it with random people. If you're running it with your mates, it's really good fun, but running it with randoms is... It's risky. Let's just get rid of of a load of things that I don't need. I'm not going to bother identifying them because I don't need too much. Purchase. There was a ballista. Can you say ballista? That's a totem support, but it's red. That is a green shrapnel ballista. Ballista, a blast chain. It's only the red one. Ballista totem support. Bow projectile totem. So it's got to be green, green, red. Ah, I don't know if we have a green, green, red link up. Green, green, red would work. Okay. Supported skills deal less damage. Supported skills will summon a ballista which uses that skill. Total lasts for eight seconds. Plus two to maximum number of summon ballista. Support turns any attack into a turret. Yeah, so we could go with that. We could go with Ballista Totem Support. But that would require a green-green-red connection, which I don't think we currently have. And I, and I don't want to risk re-rolling. But if we can find a green-green-red connection, I'll look into it. I just don't think there was a green-green-red. That'd be a really specific thing to have. No, not that I'm seeing. You could put the shrapnel blast in your helmet, then summon it and go on attacking with your split arrow. Do you mean green blue up there? Shrapnel blast on its own is good. Recheck vendors every time you level up for linked gear. Oh, cool. Didn't know it was that. Okay. You can buy green ballista gem and summon it for additional damage. Okay, so you're saying use the green ballista gem. Hello. Oops. 
Shrapnel Ballista. Okay. Uh, last eight seconds. Plus two to maximum on Ballista Totems. So we buy that. Stick that there. Use it as an actual attack. Stick it in the hat. We can't use blue for it, though. Do we have a support green? Which is interesting. We don't need two of those. Because if we had a support green, that would be good. Crazy, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to the stream. Um, what else could we do? Stick the lightning on it. I can't use the lightning because I only have twenty-one. I only have twenty intelligence. I can't use it. See, the lightning damage support requires twenty-one intelligence, which I currently do not have, which is a real shame. Yeah, get smarter. You only need more intelligence to level it up. Okay, so it will work. Next level. Oh, I see. The next level requires 21 intelligence. Right, so that works with there. Take care. So I summon the ballista and then just continue doing whatever I was doing anyway. The ballista effectively is just a, a little totem now. So we can get you up. I oh, can get two. Sweet. Ancestral power have three totems alive at one time. There's two of them. Why is it summoning two when I press it again? Okay, summon a ballista, maximum three summoned totems. Oh, okay, cool. It just summoned two. I thought there was. Lightning and unintelligent. What could happen? Let's find out. Where am I going? Oh, okay, hang on. That's... Oh, that's way better. This is like a little army of shotguns. So, <laughs> so <laughs> this is just like a damaging wall. <gasps> okay. So, just... Right. The listers count as totems, don't they? I'm sure there's going to be like a totem upgrade path. This is fantastic. I'm playing an archer build. Let me just grab my shotguns. I'll let you guys deal with these. My favorite archer build are the one that use close range shotguns. Fantastic. Cool. It's the remote sentries from Alien. It is. Can you just like chuck these things over here and let them deal with stuff? This is enjoyable. I'll take this. It's like minions, but good. Just finished Baldur's Gate 3 on Tactician. Congratulations! Uh, now we've got the... En <laughs> this is the engineer build. It is. Totem, totem, totem. Let's do this. I've been here before. Hang on. Getting lost. Need to work out the way out. Assuming that's... So the totems have life, but, like, a lot of life. So that's fine. They're probably not going to die. All that's missing is the sentry going up. We can just add in... I'm just watching these things. They're really good. God damn, okay. I didn't realize they'd be that good. Nice. Can can I attach support gems to the totem thing? Can I mark you for death? And then just chuck a load of totems around you. Turns out, yes, that works fine. Okay, so you can just mark people for death. 
I mean, I've already got lightning attached. I'm just wondering what else I can attach. <laughs> it just blows them apart. So, yeah, I've got shrapnel ballista with added lightning damage attached to it. I suppose... What else can we get that's support? It's clever how when you put it there you can see what it works with. It works with shrapnel ballista. That's very cool. I like that. I like that a lot. If you get GGB try faster attacks. Oh yeah, that'll work. Oh yeah, green, green, blue, and then do faster attacks. Will faster attacks work with it? Will lesser multiple projectiles work with totems? That's the question. Or just speed attacks and stuff. Artillery ballista replaces it. Well, we're going with ballista for the time being. We're just going with lots of little ballista bits. I can check to see what works with what. Right, where was I going? I was going that way and then this way. This is a bloody big level. Hang on. Let me get back to where I need to be. I think I need to go... this way. I'm using the map. Did anyone... Did anyone play, like... I think it was... It was either it was Diablo and Dark Alliance where they just play with the map on constantly. It's nice that I can walk into a uh, into a room though, and just throw down totems and know that I'm probably going to be fine. That's a good feeling. Makes me feel safe. That works. Can't go through there. I do it with this too. You can mess with the transparency. Oh, okay. Now this is good, this works. Thank you for suggesting that I get the explosive gun totems. That has... That has definitely improved my day so far. I, I feel like I'm on... Yeah, it's that good feeling. It's that moment of... This can work. That's what I like. That's... I think Path of Exile does that really well. That moment of... Well, this is dumb, but I'm going to try it. Like... Just creating a wall of shrapnel damage. It is definitely dumb, but it definitely works. I love your vest. Thank you very much. It's a... Uh, oh, 8 to 33. Long bow. Red and green. The red one was a different style of support. 8 to 33. 8 to 33. Yeah, we're fine. We've still got the same stuff there. Yeah, it's a flat cannon archer. Hover over an active socketed skill. All gem support skills that can will light up. So if we hover over an active socketed skill... Do you mean over here? Hover over an active socketed skill gem. Oh, in the shoes. Do you mean like... Uh, Like one of these. I know that you can do it if you have it somewhere else. Josh, is Crimson Desert a game you would play? I have no idea. I've not been keeping up with it at all. At all, to be honest. It's one of those things where I'm just... I try not to get too hyped for a game. Because there's no point. There's just no reason to get too into the hype of anything specifically. I will probably watch some better YouTubers to work out the best builds to go for on this. But at the minute... Yeah, this works. At the minute, Shrapnel Ballista. I can level it up. Okay. So if I level... Let's have a look how it changes. Shrapnel Ballista. The gem. Alright, so if I level it up to three... When you level the gems up, I'm guessing they're better, aren't they? Thoughts on Starfield? Again, not looked into it too much at all. Hovering over a support gem will light up the active skill gems. Might have multiple active skills in the chain. 
I've... There's so many games coming out that want me to get hyped for them. I just don't have the time to get hyped. Is there a build where you can have more totems? I'm assuming there's going to be a build where you can have more totems. Because if I can just throw an absolute ton of totems down, run into an area, throw a load of totems down, just see how that does. Might work, might not. You can have six. I'll take six ballista totems. That's good for me. You know, I think six is, is a fair amount. Yeah, run in, throw them down. How many totems? I want as many totems as I had minions last time. I'm going to go with full-on evasion. That's what I want. Superior small life flask. I want full-on evasion. You know how the totems currently have extra lightning damage attached to them? Could I attach the prismatic gem to them? That one, the prismatic burst support. And because that has a cooldown time of 0.8 seconds, would that be a cooldown time of 0.8 seconds spread across every totem, or would it count per totem? So when each one fires, would it trigger a prismatic burst and then need to have a 0.8 cooldown before it can fire again? I don't know. Someone in the chat's going to know more than me on this one. It's per totem. Let's see if that works. Read the skill carefully. Spoiler says no. Unless it says specifically cannot be put into totems. Supports attacks causing them to trigger. Cannot support triggered attacks or attacks used by things other than you. I see. So that would not... Although it does tick with Shrapnel Ballista. Prismatic Burst Support does have a little tick for Shrapnel Ballista. I suppose it's an attack triggered by me. Cannot modify minions. Let's find out. Stick a totem down, see what it does. If we start to see... If I put a totem down and it shoots and we see elemental damage, we know it's working. Not seeing too much elemental damage kicking out. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's very powerful. But I'm not seeing elemental damage being kicked out with it. Which is interesting. That's fine. That's what we do these things for. Let's let's just put some totems down and see if we can actually see the lightning damage. See, we can't actually see the lightning damage. Tell you what, though, it really does rip through them. I'm just running through putting totems down now. Interesting way to play. Here. Let it shoot them. There we go. Fantastic. 
We do see the shock procs, but that's it. Guns, as someone who's somewhat new to this, it's fun watching someone else also learning how it works. I don't think you ever truly, fully understand how it works. There'll be moments where you're like, oh, I get why that works. But do you? Do you? Right. Okay, so we level up. Um, bow speed, bow speed, bow speed. Why don't we search for totem? And zoom out. Okay, so the to there's some there. Spells cast by totems have an increased cast speed and attack speed. More totem. 30% increased totem placement. Nice. That's more stuff. What about over here? Totem mastery. What about down here? Oh my god, okay, that's a ton of totem mastery stuff down here. Increased damage after skills. Attack skills are plus one to the number of summoned ballista totems. Upper left, you say. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm pushing down to the bottom right because of bow mastery. But this is the point where I think I need to redo everything and go for a totem build, but I'm not going to. I'm not a coward. I'm going to keep going for a bow build, but I am going to go for that totem thing just there. But what's up here? Hang on. Shamanistic Fury. Increased damage, increased damage, increased damage. Is this where you can get extra totems? Plus one to the maximum number of summon totems. Minus one. Okay. okay. Summoned totems. So we've got one over there. We have got any down here? There's one over there. There's actually two down here. This Panopticon might be the way. Because that is Ballista Totems specifically. Maybe we push down this way to there? I think you want Panopticon. Yes. Let's go with Panopticon for the time being, but I think I definitely want... I mean, we can go to Intelligence, and that allows me to increase... Yes. That allows me to increase that gem, which is good. Yeah, we're going to push into a more totemy building, or watchtowers on the right. You see those watchtowers. 24 damage, attack skills have plus one to the number of summon ballista totems, 1% movement speed. Okay, that could work as well. Let's kind of go this way. Because I still want my shotgun bow. You know, I very much still want Shotgun Bow to be a thing. That's going to happen. But for the time being, I mean, just this alone. The I saw you perform the you These three totems alone are really carrying me through a decent amount of damage. Just saw actor is in your description. What did you play in? I worked in theatre for a while, uh, in and around London and Birmingham, before the uh, kind of COVID hit and shut everything there down. Did some drama teaching, nothing major. I preferred theatre over film and TV. While I've done a, a few bits within film and TV, nothing major. And I always preferred acting on the theatre much, much more. I just found it more enjoyable. But that was never... I was never able to make a full enough living out of it to know that it was something I would want to do forever. So that's why I would come home from rehearsals, I would come home from kind of any kind of work and make YouTube videos and play Twitch and that kind of stuff. Oh, hello. I have these three things. So he, they do very much make quite quick work of enemies, don't they? That was nice. I was happy with that. Crude bow. 
Lady Piety, you're absolutely you see what else we've got. Far too much baggage. Uh, don't need the superior bronze scepter. Don't need the chest plate. Might want the crude bow if I can identify it. Sorrow horn. Damage is low. Dexterity is up. Fire damage is up. Global critical strike. Light radius. Not too bothered about that, really. It's not good. He's currently acting as a streamer. I'm trying to. Would I consider going into detail as why you prefer the theatre? Equip the crude bow and see what happens. Plus 12 to dexterity, I suppose. So we could see what would happen to damage. So we've gone to 73.6, 61.9. No, it's uh, better to stick with that one up there. The reason I enjoy the theatre... When you say light radius... What exactly does a light radius do? I'm guessing it's just like physical light around the character, unless it's something really specific. Guess yeah, it's it's just actual light, so you can see things easier. That'd be cool. Uh, velvet slippers. Can't use those because I've only got one thing, and this requires everything down here. Ah, there's. Can you use? Yes. So lesser multiple projectiles will work with shrapnel ballista. Is it worth it? That's the question. Would that be a thing that's worth doing? Is it worth putting lesser multiple projectile support? 15% less damage, but two additional... No, it is not. People are saying no. 100% yes, probably not. Yeah, this is what I love about the community. People are like, I don't know. We've got no idea. Is it? Is it not? Who knows? Yeah, we'll keep that there for the time being. It's shotguns, maybe. I'm trying to work out whether it's worth it. Your shrapnel already has built-in spread. But would it fire effectively more spread? I don't know. I'll have to find out next time. I'm going to be doing a lot of kind of building with this. Shrapnel Ballista fires an arrow plus the shotgun, so that only affects the arrow part. So would the arrow part fire effectively an additional arrow? You don't want more spread, you want increased increased spread. Okay. I'm guessing I also want lots of speed for this. Right, off to Prisoner's Gate, which I think is the next location. Do you not have Path of Building on your other monitor? No, I don't. I am a fake fan, that's true. That's exactly what I am. Fake gamer girl right here. Okay, cool. Unlock you. Now, I'm just going to pretty much get through this area by doing this. Okay, so the ballistas are definitely worth it. The ballistas are definitely worth it. So that longbow, as of yet unidentified. Right, damage is 9 to 38, which is higher. More dexterity, increased attack speed, increased stun duration. It's better in every way than that one. Cool. I'll take that. I like how well paced the upgrades are. I also like not having to do much when I just set these up. This makes me happy. Uh, the new... The new league started a couple of hours ago. Someone in chat was like, hashtag ad. Yes, this is an ad. This is a sponsored stream. But... I'm very lucky that it's a sponsored stream of a game I really like. 
It's like sticking a shotgun right in front of your enemy's face. I like it. The fact that the enemies attack the ballistas as well is great. Yeah, being sponsored by products you like is rare, but it is definitely the dream. Are ballistas affected by increased attack speed, gems? I'm going to assume they are. Excellent. Does the shop sell increased attack speed gems? This is my new way to play. Just run around and press R occasionally. If they use an attack and are not a spell. Definitely seems to. Uh, let's double check. Yep, it's an attack projectile totem. Summons us that fires multiple arrows, breaking them apart into shrapnel. It fires multiple... Enemies can be hit by multiple arrows from the same attack. Requires a bow. Okay. Shrapnel ballista. Totems last 8 seconds, plus 2 to maximum of summon ballista totems. 4 to 6. Added attack, physical damage. Fires 2 additional arrows. I want to try... Something. Throw you away. Which may or may not work. It's mostly from the shrapnel ballista. So 19.26. If we take away that. Oh no, that. We go from 19.26 to 16.81. So the shrapnel ballista on its own is 16.81. Let's just flick some things around. See if this will work. So the shrapnel ballista, 16.81. Then we stick on the lesser multiple projectile support. Okay, damage is 14.36. It goes down. That was expected because the damage is going down, but it is also firing more projectiles. But with it firing more projectiles, we then stick... So if we go with prismatic burst support, that would go to... Damage per use is 41. For that so 41 per use but if we change that to that 16.46 damage per second i'm trying to work out whether we want the prismatic support gem or we want the lightning damage support gem i'm thinking because the prismatic support gem has a cooldown of 0 0.8 it may work We'll find out. Can we agree the second Golden Sun game isn't sequel? I will do the second Golden Sun game at some point. It may work, it may not. I don't know. Let's just find out and see if... I also want to stick on um, Split Arrow and Lightning Damage for me. So let's see if this is or is not worse. I don't know. It should fire more arrows... And I think more arrows make stuff more deader. We'll find out. We've not come up against the challenge yet, so... Once we get a challenge, then we'll know. Okay, so that seems to work quite well. Now, there are probably some pros in the chat being like, oh no, you've built it wrong, that doesn't work the way you think it does. But that was quite effective. That fired a lot of arrows and they split apart into a lot of stuff and there was damage there. More deader stuff is more better, that's true.
Maybe there's a better thing we can... It, it works how you think it does. That's all I wanted to hear. Let's use a portal scroll to go back to town. I was standing next to a waypoint. I shouldn't have done that. But let's use a portal scroll to see if there's a different gem I can buy for this. More projectiles on shotgun stuff is always good. I seem to be doing okay. If it's fun, then you did it right. Look, we don't play games to have fun. We play games to be efficient and to min-max. Multiple arrows from it can hit the same enemy. Yeah, get multiple procs. So, let's just purchase items. So we have a shrapnel ballista, multiple fire support, but blue is prismatic burst. What do we have that is support, but also blue? Minion damage, blast chain... Support spells that use bows or wands. Is it support? Will support totem still work? I suppose we don't really need support totem. It's any level of support. Prismatic burst is what we're using. But what's blue? Might work. Lightning damage we've got. Increased critical strikes could work. Minion damage is not worth it. 15% more damage over time. What is the fast support? One that just fires faster. Faster attacks. It's green. Okay, cool. Support skills have a 21% increased attack speed. So fast attack. So what we need is triple green. Triple green would work because then we take away prismatic burst and instead we add in faster attacks. So I suppose the question is, does anyone sell anything that's triple green? Let's see what this dude's selling over here. If we get triple green, we're okay. Oh, okay, hang on. Blink Arrow, Withering Step, Leap Slam, Flame Dash. Fires an arrow, arrow lands, you're teleported to it, and a clone is created of you. I'm not going to use any of these things, so I'm going to go with that one, just to say I've got something. What we need is a triple green connection. It's unlikely we're going to be able to find something that specific. We could always re-roll, but I don't want to risk re-rolling too much. No, no triple greens in the minute, but we'll get there. I'm glad it Stay works. I'm just happy that it works the way I thought it did, to be honest. Triple green is for nerds. As someone who burned himself out trying to play POE optimally, really refreshing to play with... Oh, yeah. I am just... When I find the thing that might work, I know that it probably won't work, and then I'll be like, oh, my God, what if it does? And then 10 minutes later, I'll be like, oh, my God, what about this thing that works now? Chromatic orbs can reroll colors on item if you like gambling. Yeah, we, we re-rolled one once, and it was... A little... It was risky. I don't know if I want to risk it on something else. So instead, what I'm going to do is sell a load of the stuff that I'm not needing or using. Because at the minute, I've got what I'm happy with. So I'll sell a load of this stuff, because I don't need it. Uh, sell you. Probably sell you as well. These things might be useful, I don't know. They're just random little bits. Can I not move things? Oh no, not while you're in that inventory, okay. Might as well stick stuff in the stash. I know you guys are going to hate this. But this is how I'm storing things. That's how it's being stored, just deal with it, okay? Deal with it. The socket colors are influenced by the item type. Dex items are more likely to roll green stats. Let's go back through here. People trash talk the game loot filter, but it made me realize how more slots is more important than rarity. Yeah, so I would much rather have the correct combination of slots than anything else, really. So yeah, I'm definitely going to go with more projectiles and... Prismatic Burst, which I think... The reason I think that's doing more is the fact that its damage per use is 41, and its casts per second is 1. 
So it's 41 damage a second, effectively. It's got a bit of a cooldown. Even if it halved to 20 damage a second, you'd still be doing more with that on the Ballista than the Lightning Gem on the Ballista. I think that's the way that would work then. Oh, welcome flying, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a lovely day. I'm just here for the doggos. They are downstairs asleep, unfortunately, my friend. They are, it doesn't work on ballistas, but it does. It has to, because it says it does. So if we, if we take off the Prismatic Burst support gem, it says in the top left-hand corner, supportable skills, shrapnel ballista has a little tick. So it's, it's ticked as working with it, Prismatic Burst support. Supports attacks, causing them to trigger the tr Prismatic Burst spell. Cannot support triggered attacks or attacks used by things other than you. But I'm thinking that the the Shrapnel Ballista does still... Does still count as it? Lightning is three levels lower. That is also true. I mean, we can stick Lightning back on and see what happens. Because I've got Lightning at the thing. Just travel back to Lion's Eye, grab the Lightning thing... If it doesn't work on the Shrapnel Ballista, that is a shame, because I was hoping that it did. But that's okay, we can get Lightning Support. We've got the stash, I didn't throw it away. Stick you there. Grab wherever Lightning... Did I sell the Lightning Support one? No, it's up here, isn't it? Lightning Support. That definitely works on the Ballista. Yep, Shrapnel Ballista, that works there too. And then Split Arrow. I suppose Split Arrow can work with... Yeah, Prismatic Burst. So I've still got it. It's still doing something. Right, we'll see how this works now. Thank you for reminding me the Golden Sun exists. Oh, you're more than welcome. It's a good game, isn't it? It is a damn good game. Recently clicked that it was you who voiced a role in the Ballad of Lost Holloway's third act. No way! That was, uh, yeah, that is an old thing that I worked on there, but I really love Paul Shapiro's stuff. Thank you very much for, you know, mentioning that. That always makes me uh, super happy. Whenever I hear that part of the song, how did I find myself voicing those news... Okay, so one of my favourite musicals of all time is called The Dolls of New Albion, and the sequel, The New Albion Radio Hour, and the follow-on from that, uh, the a, I think it's an analogue guide... A New Albion Guide to Analogue Consciousness, I believe it's called. It's a very, very strange... Very strange thing. But I think it's a fantastic, incredibly interesting um, musical. Uh, brilliantly made uh, by, by a guy called Paul Shapira. And I found it because I was a big fan of, like, steampunk-style stuff. And he was making steampunk musicals. So I watched through all of that, and when Paul was doing his um, Ballad of Lost Hallow kind of trilogy, if you will, he put out a, a shout on, I think it was Twitter, or may have been one of the Discord things at the time, just saying, hey, I'm looking for some people to do some voiceovers for these things, just like a little fan voiceover thing. Could you please send an audition tape to this specific address? And I'm like, you know what, I've got some free time. Here's my voice, I'm more than happy to, to lend you that for a bit. And he was super fun to work with. I'm trying to get into musicals, can you recommend it to someone who's new? So, when you say get into musicals, do you mean perform within them, or do you mean just listen to them and experience them and have a good time with them? If you're looking for musicals just to listen to and enjoy, there is a wealth of stuff out there, and it's all very different. If you're trying to get into it, you're going to... Probably your best way to do it is to go to... Josh doesn't loot the gems and three colour links, and it hurts. Is, are there any three colour links? There's no three colour links back here. I mean, there's... Is that one? That's red. That's a couple. There were no three colour links back here. I mean, there's... Yeah, I suppose there's that one. That's fine. That... No. No. What was that one? That one was green, red, blue. So... I suppose we could maybe work on something with that. Late night stream, didn't expect it. Path of Exile paid for it, so you get it. Have you tried turning the in-game loot filter on, like basic? No, I've not. No, that sounds like a lot of work. I don't want to do that. Selling a green-red-blue item will give you a chromatic orb. Will it? Oh, okay. And then you can re-roll stuff. I see. Path of Exile, what's the game like? How much is it like to Diablo 4? 
so Path of Exile was, I think, created as a bit of a pushback against Diablo 3. So it was... Chris Wilson, the guy behind it, has pretty much said repeatedly that it's... He loves Diablo 2, and he kind of worked on Path of Exile being what he wanted Diablo 3 to be. The the similarities, obviously, you, you've got to... You've got to make the similarities at some point. There's no way to avoid it. I think that Path of Exile is more fun. I think it's got more longevity. I think it's got a far deeper uh, technical combat system within it. I would say it's definitely closer to 2 than it is to 4. Definitely. Let's have a look at some more passive. So, for example, this is the passive skill tree. And you cannot gain enough points to unlock every single passive skill. You just can't do it. There's two refund points left. Let's search for... We search for Ballista. That's Ballistics. There's a Ballista down there. So we want Panopticon. This is pretty much what we want. But we want to do it from getting to it from this way. So we probably want to push more into bows. We could do dexterity, dexterity, dexterity. Move through. Kind of. We want to get to there, pretty much. But we want to do it via dexterity. So we probably just want to move through the main dexterity nodes. Or do we want to push into bow mastery? Keep in mind I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3 and I'm a story guy. Ah, there's not too much story here. You might want to grab point blank on the way for more shotgun. Point blank. Okay. Where are we looking for point blank? Projectile attacks deal 30% more damage at the start of their movement, dealing less damage as it goes further along. Okay, that works, yeah, because we have a shotgun. What that means is we can actually just push all the way down to point blank and then move across from point blank to get to... Yeah, so one, two, three more levels we get point blank, and then a few more and we get across to the ballista thing that we need. Yeah, that works fine. Hope you're doing well. Wanted to say appreciate the tweet you made on tiny gains. Tiny gains, man. Tiny gains. Zoe, tiny gains. 1%'s enough. 1% every day. Massive change over the year. Guaranteed. Visually, it doesn't seem very modern, but it is free to play. Yes, so the the shop in Path of Exile sells cosmetic stuff, and it sells... Correct me if I'm wrong on this thing, guys. It sells stash tabs, which are like your bank tabs. But stash tabs, once you've bought them you keep them forever, even if it's in, like, a different character or a different league. Am I correct thinking in that? Double-check me if I'm wrong on that one. I want to make sure that I'm, you know, that is correct. Okay, cool. So, you can increase your bank space, and once you've increased your bank space and paid for it, you kind of just keep increased bank space. Which I like. I think it's fine. I've not paid anything in this. In fact, quite the opposite. They've paid me. If anything, I've made more money off Path of Exile than I've made off me so far, which is great. I might turn around and buy myself a stash tab or two in the future, if I ever want to. So I think it is something worth doing. Let's throw a f what I'm doing right now is just chucking a load of these things around. Let's mark you and then throw a few more of these up. I'm using totems to just shoot everything. Humming Wood Splitter of the Squall. It's got a full name. Anything with a full name, you know it's important. So basically, wait for a stash discount, buy what you need, and never buy anything else. In oh yeah, if you buy something in Path of Exile 1, like a stash tab, you also get it in Path of Exile 2, which I think is pretty cool. wonder how much Blizzard will get to uh, show if they sold you stash tabs. I mean, don't they? I mean, they might not do, but they... I... I think it's fair to say that World of Warcraft have a much more egregious shop than Path of Exile. I don't think anyone would really put up too much of an argument against that. 
I think you could definitely point to World of Warcraft being a lot worse in stuff. What is the expectancy of Path of Exile? Do you feel like it's reaching the ceiling soon, or does it improve to grow? So the cool thing is, they do these things called leagues, where it's every it's every 13 weeks. Again, correct me if I'm getting it wrong in the chat, guys. I'm, I tried to do as much research as I could, but every 13 weeks they release a new league, which is like a, a new kind of mechanic that they add into the game specifically. And once you have finished that league, your character just becomes a regular character, and a new league kicks in. So... It's almost designed with the expectation that you're going to play the league mechanic and then when a new league kicks in, you're going to play that league mechanic with a new character. So they aren't really expecting you to play anything specifically over like a really long period of time, even though you can do that. They're almost building in, yeah, you're going to quit eventually, but come back when the new league is here kind of thing. Which I like, because you're going to get player churn regardless of what you do. So, building specifically for it, it's quite a good idea. It's, yeah, it's like a rotation. So what I'm playing right now is the latest league of um, the Trial of the Ancestors. I can go and try... I could try the Trial of the Ancestors again now I've got these totems. I might still suck. I probably will still suck, because I've got really low health. But you know what? Let's try. We've got a totem... We've got a bit of a shotgun bow thing going on. We'll give it a go. We'll head back through and see what happens. So. We head back to town. We open our inventory. We use the silver... Oh, damn, I've only got one. Creates a portal and then used as currency in the portal to participate. So I still wouldn't actually be able to do it because I've only got one coin. I need at least two coins to be able to go there and try again. But I can sell stuff while I'm in town. HP-based characters have a much smoother learning curve. They really do, but I'm going to go with evasion. I'm focusing on evasion the entire time. I'm an evasive person. I'm going full-on evasion. Doing the same subpar story several times a season is very tough. The story definitely isn't the strong point. But I, I do like the gameplay. Oh yeah, you're right. Chromatic Orb whenever you sell one of those things. Mail boots I don't need because my boots are currently doing a lot of heavy lifting for me. The all I should probably identify because I'm probably going to get more for it. Cool, sell all that. Stick these things over here. What you got? Anything new? Anything different? Ah, that's a lot of new gems. Interesting. Oh no, new gems. Uh, I suppose support is what we need. Support blue? No, I'm not going to get caught into min-maxing this. Farewell. Getting caught into min-maxing this would be a bad idea. But I wouldn't have taken a sponsorship unless I am confident enough to stand by and say it's a game worth having installed on your PC. And seeing as that games are, you know, bloody big amounts of data, having a game installed on your PC is itself a commitment. I have no problem having Path of Exile installed on my PC all the time. That's one of the best ways I look at it. I'm happy having it installed on my PC, I'm happy with that. I've only ever seen you on YouTube and not being able to put you on two times speed hurts. Well, now you've said that, I'm going to very specifically speak slower. And then you can go back and re-watch this VOD at double speed. Do you know if you watch a YouTuber on double speed for the whole video, it only actually counts as half the view duration. End speak. You know, whenever I'm quality checking one of my own videos before I actually put it out and fully put it up, I tend to watch my own videos back on double speed because I want to get through watching them as fast as possible. And when I switch from double speed back to regular speed, I'm thinking, God damn, talking slow. Should I watch videos at half speed or less? So the Spiffing Brit actually did a really interesting thing on this. The Spiffing Brit, I'm pretty sure he made a video that was double sped up 
that you had to watch on half speed to be able to actually, you know, comprehend. And that doubled the view duration of what the video should have been, which is really clever. It's... he's so clever with that. He really does put a lot of work into breaking a lot of the YouTube stuff, and I'm sure YouTube hate him for it. I do love just throwing down these totems. Now I know how good totems are and that you can get freaking shotgun totems, I am definitely building a shotgun totem build next time, just from the start. That's all we're doing. Shotgun totems. Defense and shotgun totems. There we go. Stick him out in the front. Am I on Trade League? I am on right now the Trial of the Ancestors regular. And as soon as we find some more silver coins, I will be heading back to the Trial of the Ancestors bit and doing it some more. The other day, he did indeed get his viewers to view bot a stream by refreshing the stream, which uh, apparently plays hell with the viewer analytics, which is very interesting to see him do. Very interesting. Hey, the lightning gem goes up. As gems level up, I'm guessing they do more damage. So as the lightning support gem gets better, it does more lightning damage. I'm going to guess that's a thing that happens. So for those of you unsure of what I'm doing right now, one of my attacks drops totems on the floor, and these totems are shrapnel totems. So like that, they just fire an absolute ton of arrows directly in front of them. So all I'm doing is sticking shrapnel totems around the boss and letting it wreck the boss. That's my plan. Uh, for spell games, they do for attack. It doesn't. It scales off weapon instead of gem level. Oh, okay. So it scales off my weapon, not off the gem. Interesting. So for attack totems, like what I'm using, I need a slightly different approach. Got a sharp... Yeah, we've got to just run around the bosses throw this onto them. Find out where we're going. And again, because you end up leveling up so bloody quickly, and changing items so quickly, I'm not too interested in focusing on min-maxing yet. I will, because, you know, filthy, filthy little min-maxer as I am. But you don't have to. Take care of yourself, man. Have a good day. Am I following a build or doing my own thing? I'm doing my own thing. I've discovered that if I put totems down, they shoot things. So what I'm doing is... I started off wanting to build shotgun archer. As in, lots of arrows all the time. Just full shotgun archer. Then I discovered the beauty of the shrapnel totem. And now I'm going for shotgun archer with shrapnel totem. That's my plan. Your shrapnel pun. Hang on, where was it? Gotta shrap up the boss. I see. I see where you were going with that. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Most of my builds are whatever cool skills I get early. Yeah, pretty much. That, that's what happened. Like, someone suggested this early, and I'm like, you know what? It works. And if it works, I'm gonna keep doing it. Just exploring around. Do totems get minion buffs like there are summon? No, they get their specific own buffs. There are specialist things on the level up kind of progress screen that are only for totems. Including increasing the amount that you're able to have. Having to go almost melee range with a range class doesn't sound too smart. Silver coin, got another one. I'm not trying to be smart. I'm trying to win. With shotguns. I mean, look, we're basically forcing the enemies into a tiny little a reservoir thing here. Guarded by three packs of monsters. Okay, so... 
Well, let's get rid of these first. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, we got it. Straight in, shot it all the way through. Fantastic. That's what we need. Is my vest real or PNG? It's real. The best league start of the witch is explosive arrow. Yeah, winning rather than smart. So far, everything's died. Which I think I'm doing a good, you know, a good thing. So far, everything has died. And that seems to be pretty much the place. Carved wand. Don't any of these things. Oh, that's good. That's a triple. That is a red, red, blue. What I need is a green, green, green. If I get a green, 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 I'll be very happy. Because that allows me to connect all the skills that I need together. Will I get green, green, green? Who knows? That was a lot of shotgun stuff right there. Is this my first time playing? No, I've played before, but I definitely wouldn't say that I'm an expert. I would say that I enjoy it, but absolutely definitely not an expert. I like kind of action RPGs like this. I just never have enough time to really learn the ins and outs of all of them specifically. I think I I very much appreciated the freedom that Path of Exile was granting me when I I was playing it for the first time and I got a fireball and then a homing support gem and then like a triple shot gem and I thought there's no way that I can make triple homing fireballs and turns out you could and when that happened there was that moment when I'm like okay right I get what the game is now I get what it's doing and that was fun for me why is this sparkling, but I can do nothing with it? That irritates me. If it's sparkling, I should be able to pick it. There's sparkling everywhere. There's treasure. <gasps> treasure everywhere. I should be able to pick some of this stuff up. What are my thoughts on Paleo? I haven't played it yet. Oh, this is nice. This is pretty sexy. I'm sure this is safe and nothing bad will happen here. There you go. Have an absolute ton of... Totems. Here you go. Surround yourself with shotgun totems. Have fun. Okay, hang on, she's getting a lot of stuff up from the floor. Oh, goddamn. No! Oh, I didn't heal fast enough. My bad. I'm guessing I have to start again now. I know what I'm doing now, it's fine. Okay, I, I forgot to heal. That's what I forgot to do. You know my strategy of do damage and don't die? Well, the problem was that I did damage, but I did die. God damn. Okay, I am dying more than I thought. You forgot to not die. Cold rare. Ah, right, hang on. No, we're good. We're good. It's fine. Just... There we go. Totems only really work when you're close to the enemy, so... I am continuing to put out... I need more health potions. I think you need to take less damage to win. 
So maybe I need more health potions. Let's resurrect in town and let's get more health potions. I do also need cold resistance. That's what's wrong. If you must take your ah, hang ah, this is it. This is what we need. Right. AoE, static strike, some kind of special gem. Game's frozen. Why have you frozen game? Don't do not do this to me, Path of Exile, not responding. Don't do this to me. No. We were doing so well. Okay, yeah, I can play this off. Don't worry, I can play this off fine. Yeah, static strike. Attack. Melee. Strike. AoE. Duration. Lightning. Chaining. Level 2. Cost 6 mana. Attack damage. 114.1% of base. Effectiveness of added damage. 114%. Requires level 15, 25 strength, 17 intelligence. Attack the melee weapon. Gaining static energy for a duration if you hit an enemy. While you have static energy, you'll frequently hit a number of nearby enemies with beams dealing attack damage. The game is genuinely frozen. Like, I, I genuinely... I'm sorry. I... it's... I don't... It has stopped. That's okay. We can... We, we can try again. We are three hours and 55 minutes in. It's okay. You know what? How about we take a five, ten minute break, come back, and carry on. Let's do that. Let's take a, a five, ten minute, uh... Bathroom break, walk around, stretch your legs, grab by to eat, grab by to drink. When we come back, I will continue the ballista build. Guys, you got ten minutes.
Okay, I'm back. And some of you are thinking, oh, it hasn't been five minutes. Don't care. My stream. Let's carry on. Here we go. Ugh. Right, what do we need? I need gems. Purchase items. Support gems. For You're not missing much, by the way. You're not missing... Missing? You're not missing much if you're not here. I'm just going to sell some stuff and buy some stuff. It's going to be some basic... Basic setup kind of things going on. If you've not played Path of Exile, by the way, you should download it, because that would make me look good. That's what you should do. You should grab it, and then I'll be like, Hey, Chris, there you go. Players, you're welcome. And he'll be like, Thanks. Thanks, Josh. The game has survived, thanks to your stream. That's what he'll say. Let's just sell you all that, and then purchase some items back. See, okay, so I probably do want a greater health flask. So, superior medium life flask. That is... Okay, 167 life, and that is 70 life. 7 of 21 charges on use, so 3, effectively. Whereas that consumes 8 of 28, so again, use of 3. Greater life flask, resource 300 and... Ooh, okay, that could be better. Do we go with greater life or superior medium? So that's 167 over 3, and that's 360. Let's just go with greater life flask. There is a cold resistant ring in there for me as well. We're going to go with greater life flask, purchase that. There's only one of them, that's annoying. We probably want to go with superior medium flask as well. So... That's level 3, level 3, 150 over 3.5, 167 over 3.5. Cool. And what we'll do is we'll place those into there. And I can throw the crap ones away. Oh. Yep, as we'll sell them. Sell items. Don't know if we'll get much for them. But we can... I may as well sell you two, to be fair. Okay, we've sold the crap. Uh, purchased the items... Shrapnel Ballista, lesser medium projectile support, added lightning damage, that's fine. I suppose what we want is purchase items and then added. Did he say Ring of Cold Defense? 23% cold resistance. Okay, yeah, we could do that. Get myself some cold resistance going on. Replace it with... I probably want to replace it with one of the crap rings that I've got going on. So I can replace you. Now, oh, okay, we've got some more over here. So, added... Speed. Is speed an interesting one? Speed that's blue? Highlight, what about attack speed? So, any that increase attack speed. And support. No, okay, cool. Josh, am I still planning to legally change my middle name to Strife when I hit a million? It's interesting. I would look into the legality of being able to do it. I wouldn't say no. Faster attack is what you want. Okay, so there's no faster there. There's one faster here. Faster, faster, but it's, ah, it's green. Okay, cool. So, we still need triple green. Ice spear. Now that's, uh, I'm gonna work. Cool. So I still need a triple green item that I still don't have, but I have leveled up, so maybe this dude is selling a triple green thing now. Just that's triple blue. Why do you get triple blue and I don't get triple green? That's oh that's not made me happy. That's triple blue as well. So, if I were to buy a triple blue thing and re-roll it with chromatic orb, what is the chances of getting triple green? Ugh. What are the chances? They're low, aren't they? Unless it's like a tunic that's better. Hello, I'm back from streaming, and you have my full attention again. Fantastic, that's all I wanted. The odds depend on the values, strength, dexterity, and intelligence. The colors are influenced by the values main attribute. If you type into the search box GGG... Okay, so if I type in G... Dash G... Okay, that's really clever. So you can see... 
Green, green, red, green, green. I really like the fact they've thought about the search function so much. There is so much searching that you can do. I love it. I suppose the only thing that would work for me is the kind of gloves on triple blue. Well, you know what? We keep looking. We we keep going. And I use the waypoint to get back to... Have I missed any previous? I have. I've never gone... Ah, to the tidal island containing the medicine chest. You know what? Let's do that, because that's like a little little mini quest. And the cool thing is, with the mini quest, I should be able to just stick down totems and be fine. Uh, and they have a ton of games lined up. Let's see to Toontown. It's on the list. Trust me, it's on the list. It's a long-ass list. <laughs> I'm only going to pick up items that I see that have triple links. So this is great. This is good fun. I enjoy this. Just sticking down totems, running around, having a good time. Is the Lost Age? Yes, the sequel to Golden Sun is definitely on that list. It's... This is definitely just a, a fun run with some ballista. This makes me happy. Inside. You know? Inside I feel good about this. I feel good about myself while I'm doing this. I love those. That graphic for a wave is gorgeous. That use of light bouncing off it. That's some good stuff. Wrong way. Tidal Island is next to the entry point. Oh, okay, cool. So it's going to be up this way and then to the right. Can do. Yeah, just sometimes you've got to take a walk along the beach. Just yourself and your shotgun ballista. That's the meaning of happiness right there. That's content. Yeah, I'm not a complicated man. Just give me three automated shotgun ballista and a beach full of minions and enemies to kill. I'm happy. I'm pretty happy. This is all I need. It's not too much to ask, I don't believe. The corpses do add to the flavour, don't they? They do. The corpses really do. Did you say that the tidal island entrance was close to the waypoint? Is it just this way? Oh, it is. Like, I ran the entire way around and actually it's just this way. It's very... it's much closer. There we go. That's much closer. We'll run back in this way. Throw some of these down. Beautiful stuff. Lovely stuff. Yep, we can see that it is definitely doing... a load of... We saw lightning damage there. So what are we trying to find? We're trying to find some medicine, aren't we? Look at that. Sometimes you've just got to blast the crabs in the face. Make of that what you will. You know, imply your own meaning onto it, that's fine. But sometimes you just want to shotgun some zombies. Doesn't matter what age you're in, you know, medieval, futuristic, sci-fi, zombies and shotguns. Combination as old as time. Okay. I do kind of regret not building into it, specking into it specifically a lot harder earlier on. Like if I'd have known that I was going to enjoy it this much, I'd have specked into Ballista from the start. There is a bow that lets you have additional shrapnel ballistas per 200 strength. That's a long way off. 200 strength? I mean, that would also require me to have a strength build, which I've not gone for. Yeah, if I could follow another player, once again we have discovered Lazy Man mode, but of another game. If there's one thing I am good at, it is not playing video games. 
It's finding ways to let the game... Right now, what this is is a walking simulator. And I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. Makes me happy. Yeah, isn't it not Path of Exile? Path of Chill. Path of Relax. Am I aware of an RTS game? I am not. But I will look into it. So Gem cannot level up because you don't meet the requirements. I require 33 intelligence to level up Frost Blink. Uh, right click to dismiss this. I don't care about leveling up fro uh, Frost Blink, to be honest. Striking Strength. Yeah, Path of Relaxile. Yeah, I'll take that. You were expecting an energetic stream. But it was me. Dio. <laughs> don't need an energetic stream. If you haven't downloaded this game, by the way, you can. There is a link below the stream uh, where you can download it from. So if you look, if you're on Twitch, there's a little picture of the Path of Exile uh, Trials of the Ancestors logo. You click on that, it'll take you there. You download it. Download it if you want to. Don't have to. I think it's a good game. Best way to do it. Uh, you Will I review old real-time strategy games? Yes, I do want to review the old Warcraft 1 and 2 at some point. Without a doubt. Oh, good. Now you give me some stuff. Increased movement speed. No. It's mana and light. Life does seem more important. Let's go with life. Oh, gems. Oh, no. Hang on. Support. All right. So we've got potentially blue support gems over the lightning damage. Cold fire lightning support AoE. Supports any skill that hits enemies. 4% increased duration. Ah, so that's duration. Arcane surge support. Not really. Chance to poison. I've heard poison's quite good with these things. Pierce support. Goes through people. Chance to bleed. Okay. Good evening, Lord. How are you doing today? Volley support. Fires projectiles from the user. Okay, does not affect other ones. Momentum. Spell Cascade and Ancestral Call. Not too bothered about any of these, to be fair. Uh, so we'll go with... We'll go with Poison in case I do end up using it for anything. But we'll take that and we'll sell... Anything else to sell? Yeah, we'll sell some basic stuff like this. This is fine. Don't hit any of you. You can all be sold. Goodbye. Oh, we've leveled up. Uh, we're going for the... We're going for the totem build, which I think is down here. It's just there, totem mastery. But I also want the point blank build, which is there. Projectile attack hits deal 30 more damage at the start of the movement. Do projectile attack hits also count for totems? Interesting question. Because they are a projectile attack, and it is... Someone's a ballista that files extreme force, breaking them... Okay. I... Yeah. Cool. So projectile attacks do work for totems, and it does more damage at the start, and they're going to be super close anyway, so yes. That's fine. We'll build down toward you. Have I considered doing a stream with other streamers? I have, but that involves talking to other people, and that's just... Oh, goodness me. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Welcome. Talking to other people. Oh, nothing worse terrible. Just terrible. In all seriousness, no, I would. He's, uh, he's a cool guy. I like Alan. Stay sharp. It's mostly about finding time that people have got, to be fair. Oh, Wicked Wiz is a great guy. Wicked Wiz truly is one of the just the nicest people. He's super fun. Okay, the forest inland it leads to. So, he wants me to find... Thing, the way forward. Find the Emperor's Road and the forest inland it leads to. The Siren's Cadence, dying for a fight. That was the Halls of the Dead one. So we haven't yet done that one. I'm guessing we've got to go north from where we are. But we've also got to do that one, which is kill the Siren. I'm going to kill this bloody Siren. This Siren is going to die. It's going to take me some time, but I'm going to kill it. And I'm going to kill it entirely with Shotgun Ballista.
Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. I'm going to find the siren again. And I'm going to take it down. Using shotgun ballista. I've got better health potions this time. That's fine. Better health potions. And a can-do attitude. Which is all you really need. There we go. Easily. Easy down. Not even a problem. Taken straight down. I mean, that wasn't the... That was a triple blue that we just picked up. Triple blue, not a triple green, which is a shame. Spiffing Brit, real civil engineer, and Josh in one video, too much British. There's a lot of British going on in that video. Spiffing Brit, though, is a really cool dude. I'll give you that. It's hard to stay in touch with, because the guy's always so bloody busy, but... He's, uh, he's always got a lot of time for people. When, he, when he's got free time, he's willing to give it to you. So I think I've got enough damage now. I've increased slightly. Maybe I should have done like a spin to win style barbarian. They're always pretty useful, aren't they? Another thing with this is you can just keep running into the boss fights repeatedly and doing, like, endless death runs, which will eventually kill the boss. It's not the best way to do it, but it can work. Okay, into the Cavern of Anger, and now we have to go through the Cavern of Anger to find the angry fish woman and then shoot her in her angry fish face. Love spin to win. Not in Path of Exile 2, you can't do that anymore. Path of Exile 2 have already said that their bosses will regain health when you leave the boss room. So if you don't actually complete the boss fight in one go, you are in trouble. So Path of Exile 2 making it a lot harder for you. Finally caught Josh live. Pan, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Yes, face rushing will work in Path of Exile 1 for a bit. Please press W during the boss fight. Oh, to blink. I suppose I should mark them with E. That's what I should do. Try and find the boss. Uh, just keep putting totems down. Oh! Nearly died there, but it's okay. Totally meant to. Meant to do that. I should probably invest in, like, defense at some point, but it always felt a bit cowardly to me to invest in defense. Yeah, it's like you're assuming that you're going to die. I do need some speed. The reason I want a triple green item is because then I could add a speed gem to my ballista and fire more. And more fire means more enemy dead. I just wish that the game would give me a triple green. If the game don't give me a triple green, I'm not going to be able to win. And that's the game's fault. Entirely. 100% the game's fault. Oh, hang on. We're actually close to leveling up the Shrapnel Ballista gem, which would be great. I can level up the Shrapnel Ballista. Green, green, red for Bleeding Ballista. Could we do green, green, red? I mean, we may be able to do green, green, red. Is red bleed? I'm guessing red is the bleed stack. Well, we've leveled up. Nearly died, then. Didn't. That's how you do it. Whoop. Nearly died there, too. It's 
Just gonna hang back here while my ballistas do their thing. Beautiful stuff. Silken vest. Triple blue. And yet nothing. Nothing as of yet. For triple... Uh, triple anything else. Triple thingy. Green. Let's pick you up. Chuck you there. Don't need these things. These are all useless. Problem with bleed bills is a mob can only ever have one bleed. Poison can be stacked. Oh, poison can be stacked. Okay. We can stack some poison. I'll be happy with that. I would very much like to stack some poison. Come on, where's the boss? Where are you this time? I'm assuming the ballista levels up every time it kills something, not every time I use it. Because if it levels up every time I use it, I'm just going to spam using it. Thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the stream. Here we go. Okay, so a new plan, just absolute ton of ballista all the time over here. The, uh, the cold resistance helps. The cold resistance definitely helped. There we go. Lovely stuff. Yeah, cold resistance with that. Spot on. Oh, hang on. She's not dead yet. What the hell? What? I thought you'd be dead by now. How long is this boss fight? What? I really thought you'd be dead by now. Okay. Got a bit worried there. Not gonna lie. A little bit worried. Longbow with green, blue, blue. I'll take that. Scroll. Plague mask, double green, potentially. Superior gauntlets. I think I'm using crap gauntlets at the minute, so... We can maybe identify them, see what's going on. 14 to strength. Yeah, it's fine. It's better than what I've got currently, which is just basic stuff. Longbow, unidentified. All right, elemental damage is a little bit lower. So, 8% increased attack speed. 5% increased attack speed. Add 16 to 30 fire damage. All right, let's just see what would happen if we upgrade that to that. Way better. Okay, cool. Definitely way better. Imperian Volley Longbow, we go for that one. That's much, much better. You said they were insane gloves. Strength, increased attack speed, maximum life, fire resistance. That's pretty good. Chroming the bow is a good chance at three greens. Yeah, I'm going to try that one. So, do we want to use Chromatic Orb on the bow? 
that's what we need. So, shrapnel ballista, lesser projectiles, and what was the other one we wanted? We've got chance to poison. Was it chance to poison or was it something else that we wanted to do with it? Chance to poison? Was it faster attacks? I think we might want faster attacks. Let's see what I... So right now, the damage per second is 22. If we stick the chance to poison on, it goes to 23.63, but then there's a poison chance as well. Should we see what happens when we add the faster attacks? We'll, uh, we'll grab those. Sell these. We have an iron hat. We'll pick up the faster attacks thing, and we'll see what the number changes to. Poison's for another build, chance to poison. Yeah, people are saying that poison is for a specific poisony build. And what I really want is the the faster attacks. I'm going to go for the faster attacks and see what happens. So let's unlock this waypoint, which is great. But this is Act 2. So I'm going to head back to Act 1, turn to Lion's Eye, and grab the faster attack gem, see what happens. Might work, it might not. I mean, I know it'll work as in it will connect together. I thought you were a fool for seeking out. Put, so let's sell some junk. That was very lucky as well to get three greens rolled pretty much straight away. That was decent. Sell this. Sell items. Purchase items. Is it faster? Faster attacks. Okay, supported skills have a 22% increased attack speed. Works with Shrapnel Ballista. Cool. So Shrapnel Ballista, as it stands with the Poison Gem, would be doing 23 damage per second. This would change it to 26.88. But we are not building into Poison, remember, specifically. We want Shrapnel Ballista, more projectiles. If we take away the lesser projectiles... So that's interesting. So the lesser projectiles, you are doing 14% less projectile damage, but you're shooting two more. But the numbers actually say that my damage per second would be higher if I don't use the multiple projectiles. So what are we going for this one? Do we think that lowering the damage per second... Maybe you don't want the multiple projectiles on the ballista. DPS on a single target. But this obviously is spreading it about across targets. But what if we put the chance to poison on as well? Now I've gone to 32.9. Tooltip DPS doesn't count extra projectiles, poison, or ailments. But it does seem to count... Can you stack two faster attack supports on one thing? Multiple projectiles on shrapnel ballistas is horrible. Can I put two fast attack supports? No, you can't. Okay. Can I put lightning damage on it as well? So fast attack, shrapnel damage, lightning. Yes. Or is the... You can do the lightning damage. Just trying to work out what I should put onto it. Okay, Volley fires more projectiles, but does less damage. Currently added lightning support damage is blue, but it's doing nothing. I suppose chance to poison. Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Because people have said don't use multiple shrapnel things on the shrapnel attack. So let's just see what... So where's this all going to? Done these ones. 
Done the siren's cadence. All the dead. Solve all the trials. Okay, act two. Let's pop over to the southern forest. Let's see what happens. Okay. Added cold damage could work. That's green. Right now what we've got is added poison and faster attacks. Seems to work fine. That was cool. Oh, you can just take him down like that. That's quite nice. Yeah, that's like shotguns going off. I'll take that. You can buy precision for more critical chance and more accuracy. So there's lots of stuff here going on. A better longbow. Shark tooth arrow quiver. Gain seven life per enemy hit with attacks. Whereas that one is 61 accuracy rating, 6% increased damage with bow skills. Would Shark Tooth Arrow Quiver gain me life from the Ballista's attacks? That's an interesting question. Yes, no. Let's find out. So, 30.5. 32. But it adds something to it. Poison damage, chance to poison, new projectiles. I am only gaining life back very slowly, and that's based on my other life support gem, not this one. So it doesn't seem like that works. Whatever boosts your own attack boosts Ballista. Okay, so I want to effectively boost my own attack as high as I possibly can. That would seem like a... a sensible thing to do. Boost my own attack as high as I possibly can. That boosts the Ballista. I don't need Frost Blink. It's not a skill I'm using. can probably get a better Vest as well. So... Okay, 18% increased armor and evasion. Mana, cold resistance, yeah. Armor and evasion is fine. Nessa has an unclaimed reward for a site. Oh, thank you. Let me go and grab that. Uh, may as well use a portal scroll. Someone in the chat said, why am I streaming now? This is not... What's the night's stream? A spur of the moment thing. It's a sponsored stream, actually. So, Path of Exile came to me and said, hey, Josh, we've got a new League thing coming out. Do you want to play the game will sponsor you for it and I'm like hell yeah Hello. I really like the game the game is great if I'm more than happy to take that sponsorship sponsorship to me is fine right so let's see what we've got uh, rain of arrows attack projectiles the, none of these are support gems which is a shame attack projectile ah that creates blades which orbit around me. That could be useful. That could be decent. I do like playing Path of Exile whenever I get the time. It's just very... I very rarely get any kind of time to play it. So if I play Warped Blades, which spin around me... Um, let's put Blade Vortex on... Say, W... And E should be Sniper's Mark. That's fine, cool. So, Blade Vortex. Critical spells, AoE, things spin around me. Does that work with Blade Vortex? It does. Added lightning damage to Blade Vortex. Okay, cool. That does not work with Blade Vortex. That's a shame. Let's see if we've got any stash stuff that works with Blade Vortex that's green. Nope, none of those are supports. Okay, cool. We'll work this out later. That's a problem for future me, not current me. Thank you very much, Kai. Welcome back. How you doing, man? Let's just sell some items. You don't do what I thought you would do, which is a shame. I've already got some life flasks. 
so you. I wonder if I use the silver coins and go and take on some more Halls of the Dead stuff. I can only afford to take on one. But I can level these gems up. Right, let's take on a, a simple thing. I'm going to fail at this. I know I'm going to fail. But I'm going to give it a go. Start a match of the Eye of the Destiny and the Halls of the Dead. Oh yeah, you've got to drink the thing, haven't you? Drink the thing and then you die. It's not suggested to do League mechanics early. That's very true. But I'm going to drink this and then die. I figured out you have to hold down on the totems to damage them. Right. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to try again. And I'm going to stick totems down and just see what happens. All right, who do we take on? Reward. That's cool. Intelligence. I suppose we take on the reward that I actually want. Okay, Tattoo replaces a small dexterity passive skill, more cold resistance, improves the quality of a flask. I don't really want or need any of these. That's decent, though, as a helmet. I mean, the big enemy totems that you have to kill to win. Yeah, flask or dex. Upgrades a normal item to a random rarity. I'm pretty sure I've got one of those, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, no, I've got an orb of augmentation. But I've not got an orb of chance. Upgrades a normal item to a random rarity. I don't really have any normal items that I want upgraded. Let's take on... If we go away and then choose again, do we get new random ones? No, we don't. Okay. Let's go with that one. The Dexterity Passive Skill to More Cold Resistance. Let's take you on. The newcomer brings a smaller to the one, two, three... Challenge They've got four. They are four enemy, four helpers, and I've only got me and three. One, two, three. A blessing. I don't have that. Let's try just sticking these guys down on attacking. There we go. And start. Just stick a lot of totems down. Damn it. So, my totems did a little bit of things, but I don't think they did anywhere near enough to actually be a viable strategy. Now, doing this clearly hurts you. And I can't, unfortunately, survive long enough to do much. So the basic, the league mechanic here is assign your team, which are NPCs, and then run forward and attack the enemy team and destroy all of their totems before they destroy all of yours. Unfortunately, you shouldn't, as they say, take on League mechanics early, before you're pretty much geared up. And it's very early for me. I am not geared up at all. Now, I like the idea of, like, a little skirmish battle against your opponents. That's pretty interesting. View favour. Okay, so I've earned 250 favour so I can buy an Honoured Warrior. Okay, cool. So, I have gathered enough favour to buy an Honoured Warrior. So now when I try it again, when I have another silver coin, I've got four things helping me, not three. So, slowly but surely, we can build up to a decent team. I'm guessing you can sell items for stuff? 
Oh, that is just basic shop. So nothing. Uh, the grace of a silver coin. And then when you get silver coins, you come back and try again. Okay, I get it. I get the idea. You might even say, yeah, that it's the the legends of the league, because it is a very legendary league, and you are battling against each other, and it is, in a way, a league of those legends which are coming together. Yeah, it's the League of the Ancestors. That's what we all said it was, League of Ancestors. That's how it works. Oh, this is the dude that I killed. Good times. Good times. Let's just... Oh! Nobody expects... the totem shotgun. Fire arrow quiver adds three to five fire damage to attacks. Will that affect this? Yes. Very slightly. Sixty-one accuracy rating, six percent increased damage with bow skills. Does that count as a bow skill? It does count as a bow skill. So the increased damage in bow skills there is better. Have you heard of an called Dragon Saga? I have. Let's just try and get rid of that thing just there. Hey, hey, okay. Another big level up. That was a huge level up. Goodness me. Just got a ton of stuff. Ready to level up just then. Right, what can't level up? Oh, I keep forgetting got Blade Vortex now. Just does damage for being near me. Lovely stuff. Seems an angry man running around being hit. Need to catch up with the Josh Josh Players videos. Oh, it's it takes me a hell of a lot longer to make the the plays reviews, but they are very rewarding to make. I very much enjoy making them. So this shotgun build seems to work quite nicely. The only danger is that you've got to be really close to the enemies for it to work. Just keep kicking out some shotgun blasts. So why can't these things be updated? What is stopping them? Okay, intelligence requires level 17. Okay, so I'm actually, I've out-leveled the gems faster than I can level up. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Uh, we want to go down here to that one. Apply the points. Okay, point blank is the next one. 30% more damage to targets at the start of their movement for projectile attacks. Excellent. So if we can get one more level, we can get the point blank update, and that might help. Split arrow will have a tighter spread. Oh, that's quite clever, actually. That's very interesting, because then you just shoot like that. Okay, so that's cool. That's... They look very cool right now. Ah, quite a few people have made it to here, I see. Are there... Extra special things I can buy? Okay, oh, green, green, blue could be useful. And some more better, decent armor. Right, there's a couple of quests to accept around here, so I'm going to accept all these and go and do them. Oh, isn't this the one where you have to make a choice? And you've got to, like, choose which of the three bandits that you go and save or go and attack and go and kill or something. And there is, like, an objectively correct choice that's just so much more powerful than everything else. I'm sure there is. Okay, let's just jump off from there. We've collected all these things. Pretty Shrimp, Patty Shrimp, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Love to have you back with us. It's the illusion of a choice. You just <laughs> kill every bandit. No, I'm sure. Sure, one of them. Right, so we run with this dude. Complete Einhar's mission. Jeez, that dude is a beast. Oh, this is great. Shotgun 
ballistas. Shotgun totems for everyone. Just run around, put them down, and just watch them shoot things. This makes me happy. This triggers the dopamine in my brain. This makes my brain do the happy chemicals. Knowing me, I'll use the I'll choose the worst one just to mess with people. What if I didn't even read what they did and just did that? All I'm doing is putting down Ballista while healing myself and letting them do basically all the work. How are we going to pick up these things? Because they look good. I don't even know if this is the correct place slash enemy level up gems as we go I mean I've leveled up alright cool we captured the beast and we got a load of cool stuff Lots of uh, lots of stuff on the floor there, but I can't pick any of it up until I've killed everything that's attacking me. So give me a second. All right, cool. There we go. Let's uh, let's grab. Oh, Armageddon needle. I mean, Armageddon needle sounds cool. Gain six life per enemy hit with attacks. Three to six physical damage. Increased critical strike. Maximum life. 5% increased damage with bow skills? Corrupted. What does corrupted mean? Someone's going to have to let me know what that means. That one might be useful. Bone spirit shield. Striding boots. Means can't craft. Unchangeable. Okay. Not too bothered about it being unchangeable. Heavy cleaver of the cloud. Okay, so if we attack that, let's have a look. See, right now the Ballista is doing 35.23. If we change it to this, 37.23. I'll take that. Cool rapier thing going on. Don't think I can put that anywhere, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll throw that away. That's fine. Okay. All that, yeah, I, there's lots of items on screen. I get it, but I am going to leave most of them. Just so you know, most will be left. Now, the boots currently are giving me lightning damage, blade vortex. Projectiles wouldn't work with that, so it's not really a problem. Cool. Items, I'm going to leave them. I did have a level up. Aha! Finally, point blank. Apply points. So that should now do more damage to stuff if I put these things down. So I'm hoping... Alright. Well, stuff does seem to die quicker. Can't tell if that's me though or him with his crazy powerful attack. But putting down all of these... Is that another level? I am blitzing through some levels here. I am really blitzing through some levels. Most internet's awful downloading it would take forever. It's decent though. I enjoy watching other people play it. So I'm trying to build toward the ballista stuff as much as I can. And if we've leveled up again, the ballista thing that I need is over here. Totem mastery. Attack skills have plus one number of summon ballista totems. 50% increase effects of buffs your ancestor totems grant while active. And that's what I need, pretty much. Panopticon. Yeah, 
Interesting. Yeah, let's move across to here then. Don't think these are super important. Let's go across to here. So only one, two, three, four, no, four. Maybe seven or eight more levels and we should be okay. Yeah, seven or eight more levels and we should be good. For me to get what I need for it to work. But ultimately, what happens now is when I put these ballistas down, they shotgun zombies in the face. Very well. All right, makes me happy. Makes me happy. I can cast my blade ward on me, run around and drop, uh, drop little totems. You don't even need to pay attention. It's excellent. Would you mind starting over on another character? Yeah, sure, we can do that. That's no problem at all. I can sort that out for you. Scroll of Wisdom. Oh, I see. We've been here before. So we're hunting a couple of beasts, aren't we? Find and weaken specific beasts for this dude. I think we can find and weaken the beasts. The skill tree will put some people off playing. Yeah, it definitely would. It's kind of why it's there. It's one of the reasons. It's meant to put people off. But I very much do like the fact that you can be very open with how you build. Ah, we're back over here where all the all the drops happened. Let's head down here to the left. What build do I play? So, I started off playing a melee archer. I was just going for, like, shotgun archer. And then someone told me that you can put these little turrets down that effectively act as shotguns themselves. They're shrapnel turrets. So I added some stuff to the shrapnel turrets so they now fire faster and poison the enemy. So what I'm doing is I'm running into battles, dropping these three turrets down, because you can have three at a time, and then just watching them shred through. It's almost like I'm running into the enemy and just sticking artillery in their face. You know, if you were playing Command and Conquer, this would effectively be running into the the enemy's base and building defences right in front of them. That's what I'm doing. That is a triple green sword. Why would I need a triple green sword? Do you need a bow equipped to use the shrapnel ballista? Requires a bow. Yes, it does. Because that's based on everything else. So I can't have a sword and summon a shrapnel ballista. Didn't Demon Hunter in Diablo 3 have the same thing? Yeah, I suppose it did really, didn't it? It had that same kind of drop off the turret thing going on. So yeah, this is just the classic stick a ballista in their face. Build. You know, the old turret build that everyone does. That and shotgun bow. Leveled up again. We are making it. Oh yeah, Crusader Kings 2, that's a, that's another skill tree all to itself. The Crusader Kings builds are are very impressive. Okay, cool. Weakened these beasts, so he's caught them. Right now, I'm hunting some beasts within this forest, and I think they show up as almost like skulls on the map, if you will. Just stick a load of things down in front. We should be okay. 
current meta is a marauder using totems to cast explosive arrow. I could get into that. I could be convinced to do that. That sounds fine. Don't know how much more of this map we've got left to go. I've been watching a YouTube for a few months and recently saw your terror reactions in one and laughed for hours. Oh man, that terror one was, was ridiculous. Jagex made you look fat in the interview and didn't make you sit well. Ah, no, that was my fault. What happened was I got fat. Uh, so, you know when they say that the camera adds five pounds? Well, I'd eaten a lot of cameras by the time I did that interview. And then I watched that interview back and I'm like, oh man, that's not a good look. So what then happened was I stopped doing that, went to the gym and got buff. That was the plan. Yeah, I was watching that video back and I'm like, ah, right, I can see that what's happened is people say to me, oh, Josh, uh, you you look fat. Are you OK? I'm like, oh, yeah, just, you know, eating a lot, that kind of stuff, general things. But what then happened was I, I went to the gym and I, I'm getting there slowly but surely. I mean, you can't tell there's a lot of stuff in front of me right now, but I've uh, I've had to buy some new shirts because the biceps and the triceps are slowly getting there. You know, I'm lifting some stuff. I'm getting hench. In fact, to inspire me, I even bought some Warhammer 40k Blood Angels t-shirts. So when I'm at the gym, I can be looking in the mirror and being like, Lift for the Emperor. Lift for the Emperor. A scaled doublet with three greens. That also gives dexterity, increased armor, and evasion, and stun and block. That is excellent. Why are we not using this all the time? Wait a sec, the vest is fake. Oh, yeah, it's a PNG. It's really warm in this room, so I didn't want to wear a vest all day. So I just put the PNG of the vest there. But no, see, I'm getting... I like to think that I'm getting slightly more buff. I'm putting some muscle... I mean, these shirts were baggy when I first bought them, and now they're, they're a little bit there. If you ever meet me in real life, you'll understand, and you'll be able to see that it's working there. But no, the vest's fake because it's really warm in this room. So I just... I stuck a PNG in front of the screen. No one noticed. It's fine. No one noticed. Some of you noticed. Is the hair real? That's real. That's very real. Interesting. Boon of the first ones. Life regeneration, light leech, and life on kill. Cool. Guys, give me some stuff. So this armor gave us three greens. And currently, well, the greens I'm using are... Split arrow. So if I stick split arrow there, I could also use lesser multiple projectile support. Take off prismatic support. Put split arrow there. Then put extra stuff. Then even... I'm not going to use repost. Any more green support gems? Because split arrow now fires like loads of stuff. Fires. Yeah, that's a lot of things there. There we go. That's that's completing my my shotgun archer build that I wanted to have. I suppose speed is what I want now. If I can get like really fast speed. Give me a second to take down gold ribs, the unclean. I was just summoning a ton of ballistas and wrecking him. Put a stiletto just there. Okay, so we're taking down four to five. That's good. You'll get two buff and then Henry Cavill might have a word with you. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. That's the plan. But no, I'll never say that anyone has to look a certain way. You know, you, you look the way that you feel comfortable with, but personally... I have found a lot of kind of mental and physical energy to come from being physically fit, from eating healthy, from drinking more water, from taking care of myself. I've enjoyed it and I feel good. And it's it lets me it counteracts the fact that I do just sit streaming for a hell of a long time at any given moment. Ethereal knives, spell, projectile, physical duration, fires an arc of knives in front of the caster. Okay? Leaves a lingering blade, fires nine additional projectiles. So if I change split arrow for this.
That is a lot of knives. Okay. So we throw a lot of knives. We do a little lesser projectiles. We do a little throwing things faster. It's a spell though, isn't it? Although it is a projectile still. Okay. Leaves a lingering blade in the ground for every three projectiles fired, fires nine. Oh, I see. It stays there. What do those knives in the ground do? I can find... I'm guessing they hurt? Have I tried the galvanic arrow skill? I have not yet. I'm trying to work out what the hell the... They interact with the blades and cast and summon weapons. Oh, okay. Right. So the galvanic arrow... I've got the galvanic arrow skill. Should I use that? You can use other skills to activate them. Ah, okay. Gotcha. So this dude should have one more big enemy to find. Should I stick poison onto the knives that I'm throwing? Because I'm going to be real, the knives that I'm throwing do not seem to be doing much. I think that Split Shot was doing way more. Let's just stick some totems down for this. Yeah, Split Shot was definitely more. Split Arrow again. Split arrow, split arrow again. Mirage Archer and Gemma's nice little ghost above you. Oh, cool, okay. Let's put split arrow there instead of ethereal knives. Lesser multiple projectile support, and I suppose I could use... Actually, yeah, that would be interesting. We can take off Blade Vortex. Stick on Prismatic Burst. Use that for... Ethereal Knives. Because it should work with Ethereal Knives. Let's see if it does. It does not. That's a shame. What's we'll a Split Arrow? We'll put the high level Split Arrow one there. Whatever that one was again. That was the high level Split Arrow. Okay, Split Arrow. Lesser multiple projectiles. Stick those down there instead. Then we can put the prismatic burst onto it. I suppose... Poison? Uh, split, less, there we go. Cool. So now the projectiles should... Cool. Also do prismatic stuff. Which should be way better. He says in the boots. Yes, it was. So... Split arrow, prismatic burst, and multiple projectiles. Let's see how that fares. I think it will fare fine. Yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. So this fires a lot of arrows, and they all do different levels of elemental damage whenever they hit the enemy. And we've leveled up. And we summon shotgun projectiles around this dude and split arrow him in the face. And we level up. Oh, two points. Okay. Uh, so we do dexterity. And what's that one? Versatile combatant. No, don't need that. Attack mastery. Uh, again, note that's close rangey stuff. Block, impale, axe, shield, dual wielding. And I've already got uh, the bow mastery thing over here. Twelve percent increased damage with bows. If I increase my damage with bows, will it increase my damage with the turrets? Because that works off base damage. 
four percent chance, eight percent chance to gain phasing for four seconds. Okay, cool. Movement's not blocked by enemies. Interesting. So increasing my damage with bows will increase my damage with turrets. Nice. The good nodes are nearer to Panopticon. Uh, Golem blood. What's Golem blood? Because Panopticon is there. When you said Golem blood, what are we on about with that one? Life, you say? Yeah. Golem. 10% increase in maximum life. Oh, nice. Okay, just more life in general kind of stuff. Gotcha. Let's push through to the bow stuff. Increased damage, increased evasion, increased damage over time. 4% increased attack speed. I'm not bothered about attack speed. Damage, my friend. Damage it is. Okay, cool. So... Just hit more damage, make stuff more deader. Pearl of Exile is treating me well. I enjoy it. I think it's a good fun game. It's well made. I think it's doing exactly what it tries to do. There are a couple of games that set out to do everything and end up doing almost none of it well. And there are a couple of games that set out to do one very specific thing because they know exactly what they want to do and do it very well. And I think Path of Exile sets out to be a top-down, kind of isometric, very fast action. I say shooter because I'm shooting things, but hack and slash kind of action RPG. I think that's what it wanted to be, and that's what it did really well. Doesn't try to have the world's deepest story doesn't try to fit in a load of mechanics that it doesn't need. It's got a hell of a lot of mechanics, but I kind of get where they're all coming from. Ha! Wait, wait. I need to find the final thing that I need to hunt. I've got no idea where the hell it is. Wool shoes, and they are orange. That's interesting. Not seen an orange thing yet. Let's throw you away and grab you. Maybe orange is good. Sounds like you never hit endgame. No, I never did. Because there's a hell of a lot and endgame changes every time. Let's grab these shoes and throw you away. Okay. Wool shoes, energy shield, dexterity, maximum energy shield. Uh, mana regen, movement speed, cannot be frozen. That's quite useful. That is pretty useful. The problem is that that would take away my split arrow, multiple projectile, prismatic burst combo. That's... that's annoying. Those boots are good. They are best in slot boots for leveling. I'm guessing because you can't be frozen. Ah, wonder lost wool shoes. Is it worth losing... This, though. I suppose we can stick on something else. Don't need multiple projectiles for split arrow. Well, if I take away multiple projectiles, I may as well just add on the prismatic burst support over there. So, split arrow, prismatic burst, take away lesser multiple projectiles. Stick that there for the time being. And then use the... Wonderlust shoes. Right, so now we cannot be frozen. And we have slightly more dexterity. Do they increase your speed as well? Yes, they do. 20% uh, increased movement speed. God damn. That's decent. I'll take faster movement speed any day. I like leveling and mapping through yellows and instantly burn out during raids. It can be fun. The leveling process itself can be fun. I'm going to shoot this dude from over here. Okay, cool. Done some stuff for him. Travel to the Menagerie. I'm going to be okay without traveling to the Menagerie. And to pop over to the next... The next thing. 
So I've got a tiny shield. Oh, hang on. Maim support. It's a gem. It's blue. No, it's not blue. Where's, where's maim support? It's red. Support attack skills or skills that can maim enemies. Skills deal more physical damage, maim on hit. Okay, so it supports shrapnel ballista and split arrow. Enemies maimed take 10% increased physical damage. Is it worth removing the poison support and putting in maim instead? Oh, I can't because it's red. Yeah, good point. I can't do that. If you think it's steps, they're really people who know what they're doing. So, there's probably a lot of very skilled and talented players out there, way, way, way better than me, who know exactly what to get when leveling up and when playing, because all I'm doing is getting an absolute ton of shotgun turrets and shooting my way through everything. I'm playing this game closer to a third-person shooter. Look at that. Run rings around them. Just running rings around all the dudes. Just Google and hope for the best. Yeah, pretty much. I'm aware that some people have no idea how the system even works and they're like, I'll just follow whatever. Whatever the guides tell me to do. That's how I play RuneScape. Just follow what the guide says, man. I do like the fact that your ballistas can effectively act as a wall for you, which is very cool can probably sell a couple of these things, but I don't feel like I need to, so they can go away. Fire arrow quiver can be identified. Okay, maximum life lightning resistance? No, that is way better. Uh, increased damage of bow skills is much, much nicer. You started as a ranger, ended up as an artificer. Started as a scion. So yes, I've turned Peter into Factorio. Yes. So just, all I'm going to go for is uh, just... Ah, this is one of those dudes. You strike me as someone who craves. Do I help him or kill him? If you help Oak, you will be permanently granted the following. Regenerate life, additional physical damage, increased global physical damage. Is this if... You will have to fight any party members who do not side with Oak. If you kill Oak, you cannot choose to help him. Do I kill this dude or help this dude? Do I kill him or help him? Question to the chat. You guys know more about this than I do. Kill all. Trust. Most people kill all of them. Why would you kill all of them? Oh, kill all for two skill points. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, everyone's dead. Alira is the only one worth the skill points. You can respect that choice later. Okay. So do we get some skill points just by killing them? I do like the fact that enemies will attack the totems. that keeps me a hell of a lot safer. 
It's from the quest reward after you kill them. Okay, gotcha. She's good for builds based on critical hits. So you have to have a really specific thing to do. I suppose one of the things with it is when you replay Path of Exile. It's all... What is that? You have increased life, area of effect, and size. When you replay the game, you almost play it with a knowledge of what you're going to go and do. You're like, right, this time I'm going to play this. This time I'm going to play this. That kind of stuff. It's very much a case of whenever anyone starts a new league, they always know where they're going to go to. Yeah, I suppose it is closer to the roguelikes in that sense, really, isn't it? Not yet seen any extra drops. First time leveling, 40 hours. Last league, 10 hours. Because you know what you're doing. And you know what you're going to build. And you know what you want it to achieve. Like the fact that I know to ignore certain things. But a bow with three greens on it is just teasing me now. The game's like, hey, hey Josh, have that. Have a have a padded jacket with triple green. Why not? We spent so long trying to get triple green. So, so long. You collect knowledge instead of gear. Let's open the treble chest. Empty. Pointless chest. Oh, I've got a skill point. Level that up. Just look at the fact you can stick a load of shotgun turrets down and just blitz this dude down. Lovely stuff. Really is. Just lovely. Increased damage with bows, increased evasion rating, and increased damage over time, and then 30% increased damage with bows. Nice. So let's just have a look before I do this. Right now, my turret is on 43.29. I increase that, and it goes to 46. Yes. So... Damage of bows does indeed. I mean, it's not that I didn't believe you. I believed you all perfectly. But that confirms for a fact that this definitely does what we all thought it did. That is a, that's a big change. I'll take that. Find a way into the Val Ruins. Guessing we have to shoot something. Hit something. Do something. Ah. Back to the middle ways. And then... Not that way, we've been that way before, but this way. I like other maps at least are easier to navigate. That's true. Same build might be totally different on another class. It would be, wouldn't it? Explosive Arrow Elementalist and Champion do the same thing, but are built differently. Just build different, mate. That's how it is. This is just how we do it. He's just... Yes. Sometimes you reach like a zen state. Where you're just pretty happy. Running in. Dropping a load of totems and shooting a load of things. Now, this has been a sponsored stream. I do think Path of Exile is a game that is worth having on your PC. If you're into action RPGs. Definitely a decent game. Is it perfect? No, no game is. Is it well monetized? 
I think it's the fairest of the action RPGs that we currently have the options of. And the fact that they build in the leagues knowing that they're going to experience player churn, as in the idea of, you know, players are going to turn up, players are going to leave. That's fine. They're anticipating the fact they're going to get through a player base and give them something to come back for every 13 weeks. And I can respect that. Can you zoom out on the overlay map with the number? I don't... No. I'll check later. Yeah, most games are crazy cash grabs. I think that... I mean, Path of Exile, there's no doubt it could make a hell of a lot more money if it did that. But it doesn't seem to be doing that, which is what I quite like. So even though this is a sponsored stream, I will definitely continue playing. I mean, I do play in my very few off days. I try and just run around for a bit and shoot some stuff because I find it quite cathartic. It's one of the reasons that I like games like Guild Wars 1, Guild Wars 2 and Path of Exile. You can make what feels like an okay amount of progress with half an hour. Because it's not often that I've got like a six to eight hour section to just sit down and grind away at MMOs like I used to. Sometimes I am looking for a game that just allows me to make a decent amount of progress in half an hour. And I like that. I feel that I can play some MMOs for half an hour and get nothing from them. Whereas other games I can play for half an hour and get a lot from it. I feel like, yeah, this was a worthwhile use of my time. My microphone's vest is falling off. That's because I'm getting tired, guys. I'm going to be real. It is 3 a.m. over in the UK. And... As much as I would like to continue playing, I am going to have to go to sleep. The reason that it's so uh, late for me was because when... I mean, Path of Exile actually said... They messaged me and they said, Josh, can you play the new... Uh, can you play the new expansion? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll play it as soon as it releases. And they actually replied saying, you don't have to do that. Um, it's like midnight over in the UK. You don't need to go to bed. That's, that's fine. That's okay. You can do that. And I said, Chris... Chris, when you work with me, you don't just get a mid-tier English streamer. You do get that. But what you also get is my work ethic. And you told me to do a job, and my god, I'm going to do that job. I also need to sort out this daddy long legs that's been flying around the room for a while, because I think it's been in here so long that it definitely owes me rent. Guys, thank you very much for joining. If you want to download Path of Exile, you can. It's free. Go to pathofexile.com slash ancestor. There's a link. If you're on Twitch, just scroll down. There's a picture. It's the picture of the Path of Exile logo thingy. Click on that, it'll download it. Um, genuinely, I think it's a fun game. Wouldn't have accepted it if I didn't think it was fun. So cheers to Path of Exile for coming to me for that. There's a load of other POE streamers on right now. I think Quinn's probably playing it. I know Annie Fuchsia's got onto it as well. She's really good at it. Guys, have a good night. Take care. Got a video coming out tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining me. I will continue playing this on my own off time and hopefully some more time on stream. Take care. Good night. And God bless.